So, I mean, uh, for me, I don't even eat uh, food anymore. I'll be honest with you. I live on, on it. Trump, I can't believe you made it from the presidential election in St. Louis all the way to here. Well, I don't sleep anymore, you understand? I don't sleep because uh, I, I'm, I'm full of uh, on it products. And I'll tell you something. I speak to thousands of people, millions of people, millions uh, of people who tell me that I look like I'm 35 years old. And The and women really seem that. to like you. They do like me very much, and I, and I mean this when I say this. If you don't, if you don't eat on it, and I mean eat it, don't eat just it? take it, but eat it. If you don't eat it, I'm gonna grab your pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, I will grab no. your pussy. No, no listen, Trump. I can't. And have if you're that, a man, man. if you're assault. a man, I'll grab your ass pussy. Uh, I call it an ass pussy. I'll reach behind you and I'll grab your ass and I'll squeeze your ass <laughs> and I'll stick these three fingers right up your ass. Wow. If you don't, that if you don't, so well, if you aggressive. don't, go to onit.com/fighter. Uh, you, and you get 10% off. I mean, that's practically giving these products away. I'm furious. It's genius. I'm furious at Aubrey and everybody else for actually having the gall to take 10% off their product. I, I think it's disgusting. I think it's a terrible deal for them. It's a great deal for you guys. So a 10% off on it.com slash fighter. If you don't, if you don't buy it, you deserve to have your pussy grabbed. All right. And that includes, all right. and Trump, includes most of you men. Trump's and all of you men. Also you men, you fucking men. No, no. Who have man pussies. That was a little harsh. That was intense. Let's see what happens. Ah, what can you do? Yeah. It's good to be back, though. It's good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Found the Kid Studio. Um, What's up, pal? You're in Seattle. I was in rainy Seattle. Actually, I was on the outskirts. When Bill is Seattle, I was exactly 30 minutes outside of Seattle in That's Bellevue. That's not Seattle, is it, sir? No. It's close? A lot of, it's where Microsoft is headquartered. Bill Gates is there. Yeah. Watch your so, freaking mouth when you talk right. about Bill Gates. That's right. A lot of, you go missing. A lot of intelligent people. Who spent a lot of time behind a keyboard, uh, but great fans. Great fans. I had fun. They were good shows? Yeah, great shows. It's always weird because when you go, you know, you post Seattle, like I assume Seattle, or like we have a show in Oxnard this Thursday. Mm -hmm. I go, Oxnard, California. And when people ask me, oh, it's in LA. Like people don't, I'm like, oh, it's in LA. You look at it, it's about an hour away. About an hour away. About an hour away. About 40 minutes. minutes. Uh, I've also never heard of Oxnard. (laughs) I've never heard of it. It's like Ventura, Sherman Oaks area. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. It's near Ventura. Levity Live, new club. Levity Live, a great club though. Is Wait, it? You're gonna it's love brand this new? club. I think it's a great club. My favorite of Huge all time so far is Cobbs. Yeah, the Cobbs has history. Cobbs, when you when you're in a place like Cobbs and you look at the wood and the walls, you think to yourself, uh, there's been so much laughter yes. that has bounced off these walls that it's got to be in the actual molecules. Yeah. Like the amount of laughter that went on in that. You know, it's like it's you, almost like walking through Madison Square Garden. You know what I'm saying? Like you can think of like the greatness that happened. Fraser, you know, Ali fought yeah. there. You know, you got the the Knicks, the the Jordan, Spike Lee. Like you think about all the history. Yeah. When I was in Cobb's first time. I got so nervous. I know I've talked about this before. And then you see all the Robin Williams tribute stuff. You're like, holy balls! I had a, when I, I did should when not I did Letterman. Doing this. When I did David Letterman in 1999 to do stand up, and I never forgot this. I don't know if I told you the story, but I I never get nervous. And they showed me the Zoe Friedman, who was booking it, showed me the stage. And I realized that that was the stage that the Beatles had played on for the first time in the Ed Sullivan show. So you that was where Elvis cut? had played. That's where. <laughs> no, no, that's. No, so see, I went straight to the see, bar room and got a bar. Nope, you missed the point of the story. Oh, that's, God damn it. No, see, and I'm, I, you, know, you can't just jump to what I'm I was going to say. I thought that's, you got one of those cuts. I didn't go and get one the of those. The dickhead cut? No, no, see, I didn't. That's not what I was going to say. God, I see. I feel, sometimes I feel like we're so connected. I can <laughs> kind of, you, you I can almost sentence, end your conversations. Finish, you can finish yeah. my sentences? Yeah. Well, we're not that connected because I didn't go get a bob cut. Anyway, I was looking at the stage and... I got so nervous. I got so fucking nervous. And I don't know if you know this story, but I couldn't, I was like going over it and, and I, I just, and I wasn't sleeping. This is the day of the show? <clears throat> oh, the day of, and you'll love this. I wake up that morning <clears throat> and I have a, a herpes blister, a herpes blister. It looks like somebody put a piece of raw shrimp on my lip, in the, the old, middle of my lip. The old herp went, I think now's a good time. Oh, to come the old out. herp was David like, Letterman? All right, boys, let's fire it up. National TV, 1999. Let's get this guy on TV. But first of all, let's blister his lip right up. I mean, let's get a good, nasty blister going. Biggest day of his life. I let's didn't go have, ahead and fire the fellas up. I didn't up. have any of those Valtrex, those things that you take for the, to keep yeah. the, the blister from going. I didn't, you know, I was like, whatever. 
And uh, that was a good time. Um, it was a good time because I had that giant blister. Then it split. That feels good on your lip because you can't smile. They ca- but they come from stress. Oh, too. that's what exactly. I was very stressed. And I, I was so nervous. And then they tried to cover it with makeup, and they had a very hard time. And I said to the makeup woman, I go, look. She goes, this is going to really hurt. I go, you do whatever you have to. I don't care if you got to cover my face in a fucking tarp. Cover this. And thank God it was before high-definition TV. No You HD. couldn't see it on TV. And how did I go? I was so self-conscious. It went just okay. Just okay. It went. I mean, you know, it was okay. It was funny. But it, you got but four you, minutes. But you've never been on that stage before to that magnitude, no. right? Never. Steve Martin talks about that in his book, and we've kind of talked about that a little bit before. But he talks about how he would go on uh, Johnny Carson, and the first time, like he like said, he's used to this long, you know, it's his show, or yeah. he, you know, he's getting fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes if you're at the comedy store, or something like that, right? Yeah. And you have to cut it down to three or four minutes. I think they gave him three minutes is what he said so he's like you try cutting down some shit into three minutes you really don't even get that's, going that's the hardest thing so he goes world. so the first time it was all right and then he goes then i thought the first time like oh, i made it not one person recognized him. nope and for and if, told, i think told I think, him the 18th time finally someone's like oh you're the guy from right. carson well I, 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 I think they gave me four and a half minutes which is a shitload of time and but it's so hard to get and you have to hit, you so they go, so on this joke, turn to this camera, then turn to this camera. And you're thinking about that stuff. So now I'm going to, and it's, it's live. You, I mean, you have one shot at it. So now I'm, I'm here, then I got to turn here. Then the guy's motioning over here. My joke is over here, man. So you and, do- and I turn, and I look at Letterman. They said, don't, don't acknowledge David Letterman when you're doing your stand up. Jesus. And they have, all, and I had to wear a suit, have a suit, wear a suit. No, that's not Brian Cowan. Nope. Wear a suit. Don't acknowledge David Letterman. How and he doesn't you? want to meet you beforehand. What? Yeah. And as I turned, and I think you can probably see it on camera. Head. When I turned, he was, I swear to God, he was going into his drawer. He opened his bottom drawer and was getting something out. And I could hear it. I could hear him making the noise. And I was like, oh, this is, it That's was just. not good. Yeah, it was really weird. So man. your David Letterman experience went, went about as good as my Brazil experience. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's about you right. You got punched in the face. And I had a herpes blister that was giant. Nah, and I, a girl was still into me. I couldn't believe it. This girl Even was after the herpes? still into me. See? Still did I go, I had this herpes. She goes, I don't care. I didn't, I didn't notice. I was like, you Damn. didn't notice the piece of shrimp. She's a savage. A savage. Well, you know what? That means couldn't she, kiss that her. means she has it. Can't go down on her. No, that means yep. she has You're right. Can't go she, down on her. Can't what? kiss you. Yeah. It's weird, right? Yeah, really weird. I had my or you actually before we move on to my weekend, you actually saw uh Jay's one of Jay's best friends, Buster, and see I saw too. Buster. I yeah, saw he Buster. Doing? He's good. <laughs> his beautiful wife. And uh, it was good. It I mean, I didn't, did you hang out after? No, you didn't. Have I time. was. I was. So I get so inundated with people. Yeah. You, you know, like you have to shake hands. I, I, I lately I at my age, I just have a drink and I hang out. I hear you. Or yeah. you go back to the room. I was having a conversation with somebody who was way older, and I was just talking. And yeah, yeah, you didn't have time for it. Yeah, yeah. but he was next to me, and we we, oh, we yeah. talked. We Shout talked. out to Buster in yeah. Seattle. I like Buster. Real name Siam. 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 Boone. Well, he texts me. He goes, I "This think. is Siam," and I was like, "I don't know who the fuck this is." <laughs> I know he was. And then he Buster, said Buster. Bro. Don't yeah. hit me with your native name, yeah. Siam. Yeah, I gave him the name Buster years ago when I was working for a supplement company. Years ago, and we needed him to make a fake profile. Mm-hmm. So he was like, "Well, I can't use the name Siam." I'm like, "You're Buster." <laughs> I have no idea where it came from. That's so the he, worst we're just name. Call him Buster forever. I had a cat named Buster. Name. That's where it came from. Uh, I had a fun weekend. My man went and saw finally uh, my boy Travis Brown at Blink One Eight Two. I heard he's. I grew up with those guys, and uh, this was their. They have a show. I think their very last show is in San Diego. I can't drive down to San Diego. I think it might be the same night we have a show. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's kind of far. And he goes, "Well, uh, tomorrow I'm in Irvine, man. Come down. It'd be a great one to see." I'm like, "Fuck, all right." Got the babysitter. Drove down with the girl. Took about two hours to get to Irvine. About two Ooh. hours. Traffic yeah. was not. Nice. Yeah, that's not fun. It's a bit of a hike in there. It's a nightmare because it's four or five all the way down. Yeah, man. There's yeah. no ways. It's like a what? Pe- a lot of people live down there. Yeah, ways is like nah. There's, some, no, there's no shortcuts, fool. Some of the worst for I, I don't know about it anymore, but it used to be some of the worst air quality uh, on in this great country. Irvine's uh, that that route not that route. Oh, that route. The four or five. Because you got the the ships with their bunker fuel on that would the right. sit there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. kids were having all kinds of problems. But anyway. Yeah, I don't know about that. Kids yeah. with three eyes and shit. Um. But yeah, so got to the concert. Travis uh, goes, yeah. When you get your tickets, just come right to my to my dressing room. So we're like, all right. So we get the tickets, walk back dressing room, and he is back there in this like small room. You know, he has his drink stuff. He's mm-hmm. vegan. He has like drinks. There's veggies everywhere. And this dude is warming up, and you know, it's probably an hour before he goes on. He's drenched in sweat. Oh, oh, and he has a broken foot. 
the God. the foot that I don't know what you know I don't know drums but yeah. the foot that hits kick the the kick, kick drum, drum that foot's broke that so he's a cane broke. so he's a cane he's been on tour with a cane this entire time wow. which is seventy four cities and I forget how many days but it has a broken foot Unreal. so he and he's just doing this he has headphones on he's just doing it. I'm like good lord man but for me that's the special part seeing his routine yeah seeing this guy who what you know some there? some would say you know one of the best drummers in the world if not the best according to that drummer magazine he's ranked number one so so yeah. how was when you say he was warming up was he warming up on drums or was he on, he, on drums on, on electric drums uh uh just just uh, no regular drums oh he had regular drums and he's just doing it and he had the the song in his head and he's just going boom 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 boom, boom doing all this crazy shit fast and then you take it off and uh you know the, his, his dad was there his mom was there people were in the would come in and out of the dress room and he could still do it and <clears> talk to them he's like oh that's great spin it man that's not boom, boom boom and you're talking about a guy who you know he used to have a a drug and alcohol alcohol pro uh problem and then he's sober now does does nothing just balls deep in veggies and water and now he's a better drummer than he's ever been because he's more focused. I'm that sure. makes sense. Yeah. So if you look at him from years ago when he was on, you know, medications and stuff like mm. that, he's he's still amazing. But you look at him now, I'm like, dude, like if people knew that guy's, and we talk about work ethic, but <clears throat> it's with everything. Like in the gym, it'd be tough for me to do one of his, for me to do one of his workouts. Uh, like you tell me that. He's, he's, his cardio for an hour ridiculous. straight. Ridiculous. Oh, and then in the back he hits mitts for an hour, hour straight. straight. Because think about drumming; he's up there for an God hour and a half damn. doing his damn thing, and he's the show. Like there's no, there's no sold out tour without Travis Barker, but yeah. like he's the sh fucking yeah. show. So uh, he's like, "Hey, bro, the <clears throat> battle ropes right there. If you want to work out in, I'm like, well, no, I'm, battle ropes. Yeah, he brings him on the road. Uh, uh, my trainer, who is his trainer, will he'll bring him on the road. He'll go to his house. He's crazy, man. Skinny as a rail, right? Thin, thin, mm -hmm. and With just cut. Yeah, but just he, he just for a reason. Like I'm, you know, you look at some of the other uh, guys in music. Uh, I'm not gonna say their names, but you, you know, they have like the skinny fat bill because they're they're out sure. late. Like there's sure. there's not food, him. you know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, but just that that whole warm up, and I told him before the show, I'm like, dude, it, it feels like like a UFC locker room. Like you're warming up, it's intense. He's like, it's all good. I feel good. Like it's all like he's very loose. You know, he's been doing it, you know, since he was. A, Kid, you but. know who talks this way is Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger trains like that. They they say that Mick Jagger <clears> at one point was like literally in the kind of shape that an Olympic athlete is. He's he'd run like twelve miles a day and do all kinds of exercises. Well, think about singing, time. dancing, performing, yeah. and the, but I'm telling you, I was watching. I, I I'll show you this video. I was watching. I'm like, dude, what? It's insane what he's doing, man. Yeah. And then uh, and yeah. more focus now. That's the more kind of more focus, but also like you know, there's. There's three members of the band, and those other two guys are superstars. They're doing their thing. But Travis now is a – I was thinking about just watching him play these goddamn dr drums at the Catalina Wine Mixer. But he he's really branded himself where he's like – especially as a drummer, like he's a superstar, man. When you think about it, like he has famous stars in uh, Straps. Is Stripes – straps straps famous stars and straps his you know his clothing line he you know he does collabs with steve aoki at live shows he's just collabed with all these hip-hop artists like you know it's travis but he had his own yeah. reality show on mtv mm -hmm. you know like he's he's the, you know what's called life with the barkers or grown-up barkers i forget what it high was. performing high high output a guy like that a lot of output but this is a, a guy like him he's i i, I told him meet, meet the barkers that was his uh show on mtv yeah uh, which I love, definitely watched. But he, uh, he's a guy who just never stops. But he branded himself, and it's just yeah. it, as a drummer, yeah. as a, a New York Times bestselling book, clothing line. It's just Amazing. he's a restaurants, the top vegan restaurant, and like it's it, Is he national crossroads. Great. Cross, he owns crossroads. Wow. Like he just, wow. He's a monster. <laughs> and but the thing is, a guy of his back to you know guys like this. Yeah. When I say this, there's uh, uh, Tim Tebow's probably one of them. But Travis Bark is the nicest guy in the like, literally the nicest guy in the world. If someone said rank your top five nice people you've ever really? met with fame, number one. Wow, it's weird. Well, you know, and also it's really it's not that it's weird. I guess you, what sucks to say is it's weird. But you're you're really, you know usually there's a bit of an ego yeah. or maybe it's because he's been a plane crash and near death and lost his best friend yeah, after yeah. that or he's been through a lot of I'm shit. I'm sure he's always been nice though. You know, like his his oh his, he brings <clears> his kids on tour with him everywhere. His really? kids were there, yeah. How old, how old are his kids? Uh, I want to say 9 and 11. 
girl and uh, uh, son and his boy. Hi, people like that. My guess is he's got a lot of employees too. And you and when you love somebody like this, that two two types of power. I always feel like like Trump scares people. You can see that people around him are, are yes men. A little bit of bullying. Yeah. Whereas and that's kind of a different kind of power where you kind of bow your head. And people like Tra- Travis have the kind of power that it's magnetic. That you want to, you want them to like you, and you want, and you like them. And, and that's you'll what do makes anything for you'll do anything for them. Yeah, you know, because they're so nice, but they're so f- effective at what they do. They're leaders. They set such an example. Like a guy like that, such an example in every aspect of his life. And probably you're right. It, people like that, I always noticed, did go through a form of a crisis before when they were younger. Where they have a reality. They check? had to, yeah, they had to come up against themselves. They had to kind of. I, there's, I've been doing this weird experiment lately myself just at my age where I look back at the 21 years I, I spent in LA and so much of the reason I wasn't as effective as I could have been was I had my, it wasn't a drug and alcohol issue, but I was so fucking scattered and I try to do everything for the wrong reasons. Yep. And I was doing everything but really working at what I was supposed to work at, mm. really working at being a great sketch comedian which I could have been when I was doing Mad TV, but I didn't do any of that. In fact, I was resistant to it, and I was way more interested in everything else that had nothing to that do with comedy. With it, yeah. There's nothing to do with it, comedy. Yeah. Chasing girls and, yeah. and, I don't know, half-assing jujitsu yeah. and friends. And you, had, you, you were all over the place. Yes, and you ask yourself, why? Well, what was I afraid of? Was I afraid of success? Was I afraid of who I could really have been? Um, maybe, I don't know the psychological reason, but I'll tell you at least it's very helpful to own up to the fact that you did do that and that you did waste a lot of time mm-hmm. and that you did have your own form of addiction or whatever it might be. Or you yeah, because at least you're not going to repeat it. You exactly. Know, so you Confront it and it. look at it. And yeah, exactly. And whereas Travis Barker, people like that who go through the drugs and alcohol, they were very functional and obviously very intelligent and talented. But, you know, it makes sense that he feels like he's a better drummer Read now. Read his book, man. It's ridiculous. You're like, damn, I cannot freaking love this dude. Yeah. And then. I love that. We, I've, I've talked to him about coming on the show here. I think it'd be better if we went to him, maybe do it at his Let's house. Do it. I think it'd be great on here, but I, I set up a group text message between him and Rogan because I think Rogan's platform, you know, we're like, don't, we have serious conversations here and we get into some serious stuff, but him and Rogan, three hours where he can dive in yeah. to his life and all that, it's perfect, man. Yes. Like, yes. I'm, I set both of them up. They just need to connect with their busy schedules. But I'm telling you that if that podcast happens, to be a game changer. Yeah. Like, it, it, he would just be so good on that. It's good I, to I love hear, both of them. It's good to hear people like that because, again, it gives you, like, for young people, especially, it's, it gives you a marker for, well, first of all, the fact that it's accessible to you. I mean, you know, you can be way more effective than you're being right now. And sometimes just listening to how people do it mm. and mimicking that is mm. fucking important. It's, it's, it's really good, you know? Yeah, so. it was crazy, man. I had a great time, though. Like I said, my, the, obviously the show was amazing. The video I posted was like, this is what it looks like to blink, be Blink-182 open a sold-out crowd. And they're there, and they're just sitting there, and I'm like, holy shit, this <laughs> is crazy. And then the curtain goes... <sighs> Boom! And Travis is rocking the drums and fire. I was People like, go dear crazy. God, I wish I could play the goddamn drums. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I was, I saw that video and I was like, dude, God, I was like, it. what the hell? Uh, and just fanatics, like the the whole crowd. I mean, just fanatics. Blink one eighty two. What does that mean? So their original name was just Blink, and then uh, I think a band in Ireland originally had it. Was like, we're gonna sue you guys if you don't change it. So then they ran and were like, all right, throw on one eighty two. It's just very random. It's cool. It's though. random. Yeah, Blink cool. one eighty two. Yeah, it was nuts, um, man. But I was looking at the crowd. I'm like, dude, you know, Irvine's Spectrum, where the hell it's called, out, sold out. And I'm like, there's comics who who sell this out. Like we're used to our live shows, and you've done Rogan's show, and you've had huge crowds. And we, I think our biggest crowd maybe around whatever seventeen hundred or something. But that's like, I don't know how many that's. Seats. Yeah, I'm like dude, that's you, a lot. But you can get there. You lot. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can get there. Yes. Like you can, I was like, dude, look at this fucking crowd. It, it, again, it's inspirational. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It gave me motivation. Fuck to see yes. Like that. And then, all we have to do is learn how to play the drums. You come to our live podcast. Sing. You come to our live podcast. Do me a favor, first of all. I want you to our YouTube. I want you to YouTube Blink 182 live in concert, and then and then I want you to keep that in your mind. And when you come to our live show, Fighter and the Kid live. It's exactly like that. There's no drums. There's no or, drums. Or no pyrotechnics. There's no fire. No fire. And there's no, and there's no Travis. And there's no music. But 
other than other that, that, and the crowd's way smaller. But other than that, way man, smaller. it is fucking oh, alive. Very similar. It's alive. Not live. It's alive. Alive. Oxnard this Thursday. Yeah. Now, did you go? Did you watch the debates? Did you? Do you have a point of view on Trump's outrageous comments about pussy? <laughs> I was I was crunk for it, man. I like I couldn't <laughs> wait, too. and you know why? Because I knew it was gonna be a complete shit storm. <laughs> and what else they're saying is Hillary in her old back pocket has two more videos that are a lot worse than that. What? That's the rumor. Hello. And she's gonna drop them right before this next one. And be like, oh, oh, you guys forgive him for that. Yeah, no! <laughs> I heard it's way worse. Really? I heard it's way worse. Come on. Well, think about it. Trump is a guy where he didn't really want to be president. So, no. <laughs> you know, let, let's say you and I, one of us, let's say you did. Oh, my God. You want to run for president. Oh, my and God. And they take sign, sound bites off this. What? Of you talking. What? I mean, I'm, I've, admitted, the fuck we talking I've admitted about? to orgies. I'm yes, a bad guy. With mask on. Yes. We, we do horrible things. We did draw this. We're not running for president, though. We did. But think about So this is a guy who had, you know, if let, so if Tim Tebow wants to be president, go ahead and look through his history. You're never going to find anything. Right. If he wants to run for government, he's fine. Right. Guys like this don't run for president. There are no bones left in my closet, bro. Yeah. Well, there are no bones left in my I mean, there are too many. Well, there, you can't get any more bones no, in the closet. No. It's all full of bones. Oh, it's so full yeah, of skeletons. Yeah, like a serial killer. Woo! Like a serial killer's yeah, basement. Yeah, I got a lot of bodies You're up You're straight. Uh -huh. Yeah, so put up some numbers. You put up some numbers. Horrible, yeah, numbers. Yeah. So, but a guy like Trump, he he doesn't give a fuck like that. We assume Trump's a dirt. I'm, what? Of course, Trump talks like that. I assume he's a dirtbag. But when we want to run for president, some of that stuff's going to come out. Oh, and then you got old Billy Bush, who's like, hey, oh, Billy Bush, uh -huh. what's up? <laughs> Check out the girls, man. He's such a tool. Oh, I, he's hey, a tool. we both like chick, right? You know, like, it was like, <laughs> how bad did he want to be his friend? It's so true. Bro, how about this one? Oh, look at the legs on that one over there. I'm Billy Bush. And you can tell Trump's like, yeah, even he's like, yeah. Yeah, for sure, yeah. calm down, huh? Let's act like you've been that, here before. Rogan characterized hey, hey, Billy Bush, you're not gay at all, huh? <laughs> well, Rogan characterized that. He said, well, gay guys that talk about women when they're in the closet and they around the guys and they're talking about girls, it sounds like it sounds like somebody speaking French when they don't know how to speak French. Like, it's yeah, a great character. It's, but it's so easy to pick up. <clears throat> yeah. Like Billy Bush, like, oh, look at the sound chick. We'd fuck her, am I right? <laughs> well, uh... I mean, I didn't notice her. Which one? Yeah. The one over there. Hey, you're going to give the Donald a hug or what? Like, no, he, come on. Give like, the Donald oh. a hug. I was like, Guys, he, don't do that. No. Billy Bush, what are you doing? He, and then they have tool. sound bites from him from all, all the years. And it's, it gets way oh, worse. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my. It's so bad. He, you know, like he has, uh, they, should, they do a sound bite that I saw where he's interviewing Justin Bieber. He's like, hey, so if you had to pick one, uh, which girl would you date? And Bieber's all, uh, you know, I get a, he's obviously both, dated. both. No, fuck. Bieber goes, uh, Selena Gomez. He goes, oh, you like the you like the dark haired ones. Me too, buddy. And then he gets off. He's like, I knew he's gonna pick her. She is pretty. It's uh, just like, hey, you, she's fifteen. He's, such a, he's the just a time dork. that he's interview. A dork. He just is, yeah. man. I, and he's harmless, and he's just a little. He was just. He came off as a tool with his terrible. Well, hair. He's just a tool. Yeah, that's. He's awesome. just a tool, and they throw a mic on him, and he's, around, and he's trying to impress Donald Trump. Yeah. But of course, it went like that. There is that distinction that you made, which is, look, we've all talked, we've all had. I'm a, so I've I said the, some dirty and shit. so just to preface, yeah. I don't mean to cut you yeah, off. Yeah. I'll let you re uh, finish that. So I told Brian. When that Trump stuff about Trump came out, I tweeted out, I grew up in locker rooms, which I was raised in a locker room. That was my daycare. Guys don't talk like this. Now, I see all the comments go, bullshit. I, I was in locker rooms. Guys talk about hooking up with girls. Well, whoa. We talk about hooking up with girls. We talk about having fun, what we did the night before. Dirty shit. N dirty whatever. Yep. I'm really not that type of dude, but you know, I've written, I'm not that dirty. Like, yeah. I have certain friends yeah, that are ridiculous. Guys are guys. Guys are, talk. They're it's guys. Fine. There's guys yeah. talk. No one talks about assaulting a female. <laughs> she doesn't want it. No one does. No well, one does. And remember, I was I'll, on the I'll, University of Colorado team. I'll, I'll grab their we lost our head coach because of sexual assault. Yeah. No one really talked about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 I was telling you, we don't have a friend. If, if we were at dinner at Scopa, our favorite yeah. restaurant, and one of our friends sat down. Let Name any friend. Sat down and was like, bro, this girl, pff, I'm going to grab her right by the pussy, man. She, I know she doesn't want it. I'm going to do it anyways. I get if you do that around me or you talk like that, I'm going to slap the shit out yeah. of you. What's wrong with you? Because because what you're doing is there's a difference between being, you know, a, a guy who likes girls and talking dirty and, and wants that. Look, you, you want to have sex with all the girls? No problem. You you can tell me all about the girl you did the night before and this and the threesome and the foursome and everything else. The, I, you get dirty. She's got tits. She's got an ass. We all talk that way. I don't give a fuck, you know. But when you start talking about, when you start, when you start saying, 
I just grab them. I grab them by the pussy. I kiss them. I just start kissing them. They let you do anything you want because you're a star. Now what you're doing is being a bully. You're being a bully. And creepy. You're being creepy. And, you, and when you look like that. Yeah, and you're being, yeah. And, and so, so I think that's the difference. And when you saw him at the debate, you see how he was looming over Hillary? He was getting behind her in that alpha position. Because he's used to that. I was like, to... yeah, I was like, hey, bro, you're, you're, you're getting, you're almost threatening with your, and that, you know that's why? what people don't like. I don't I like see, a bully. I think, I think he just threw the grenade. He was like, I'm definitely not winning this. I'm just going to keep, I'm getting more famous than I ever thought I would. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep antagonizing her and coming up with my stuff. I thought the the first part of the debate, he was a little on defensive, didn't have a lot of points, kept attacking Blaine. Yeah. But then towards the end, he kind of calmed down and made some legit points. Yeah. It's like, Hillary, you talk about all this stuff. Yeah. You've had 30 years. To, you don't do shit. Yeah. You're not going to do shit. If they vote for you, and it's true, mm -hmm. he makes some good points. Yeah. He goes, it's sure. true. All right, so you win, which she probably will. Yeah. You win. What changes? Nothing. Right. Let's be real. That's Nothing. legit. And it's legit. He goes, yeah. you talk all this shit like you're going to do all this stuff. You don't do shit. Right. It's going to be the same as usual. Right. And he's right. I agree. Like he made some good points where you're like, all right. And then also, because obviously his team was prepared for when they were going to bring up the, the locker room talk. And then he was like, I mean, yeah, I talk about it. I never fucking, I never did anything about it. her husband, Bill Clinton, worst president of all time. We got the four women he assaulted right here. I was like, oh, so, dropping bombs, yeah, yeah. dropping bombs. Well, my, my my thing about I it wish all. you would just be like, can we get can we get that uh, the Bill Clinton dick pic up here in the back chain? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, just well, but the boom. bummer about all of it is that. So for me, I feel like um, I I wish I just wish. We could stick to the actual issues that matter. Do they that, ever though? So, so I understand. Like, I don't think a lot's going to change with Hillary, Hillary Clinton. No, I, I, I totally get that. <clears throat> like Mark Cuban said about about Trump. First of all, it's amazing how he can't follow a, a he can't answer a question. He just he just meanders. He just goes by his gut. But my problem, I I would not not vote for Donald Trump for that for those comments. Like if he was if he knew. If he knew the issues, like Mark Cuban said, you could have been a great president, but you have to study the issues. You got to know a little bit. You can't talk about them. He's never read NAFTA. He's never read the Pacific Partnership, Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Asian. He did. He thought China was a part of it. And Paul Ryan was like, uh, uh, was like, does, is it worth mentioning that China's not part of this mm. agreement? So there's so many things that he's just not informed on. And doesn't want to be, the though. Bummer. But he also doesn't want to be. Well, he doesn't want to be. And my, my issue is not, not all the stuff that the progressive left. Left, the liberal left, the problem with the left is what they do is they do this. Is you got Anderson Cooper who says, I love do you Anderson. I, me too. But he's he goes, super biased though, yeah? Yes. Super and biased. That's the for, problem for is that he's he's part of the liberal press and he says to Bush to Trump, do you assault women? Dude, don't ask him that question. He doesn't. He's not a rapist. He doesn't no. assault women. What he said was in poor taste. I get it. But when you do that and you you ask him a question like that, what I see is a bunch of these liberal progressives and white knights who I don't agree with. And I go, you guys again are oh, totally overreacting. And you're like, you know, and this puts women back and it puts down women. We, look, we Let's have much bigger little, challenges. Yeah. Let's all fucking relax. Yeah. We're doing... Where that's not true, yeah. and when you react like that, you take me out of it, and I actually will find myself defending. Me too. I, I, and then I, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I will vote for him because that, that's not why I'm worried. I'm you, not worried about you know, him how weird, that way. You know what's weird to me is uh, I text my brother. It's like there's and granted he's Scrooge McDuck. Take money in his titles all that way. I almost felt bad for Trump because I felt like and he put himself in this position. Yeah, I'll know take it, but it it's felt like you get embarrassed. It, for everyone him. was ganging up on him. Yeah. Like, and granted, he put himself in that position. Sure. But I felt like everyone was attacking him. And he even goes, dude, it's three on one. What the fuck is going yes. on? And I like that. Yeah. Because most politicians, what they're just going to yeah. suit and tie and uh, well, it's all yeah. good. And he goes, what the fuck's going on here? Why is this three against one? Right. Let me re rebuttal what she just said. Let me at least respond to it. What's wrong with you guys? Right. And that, by I the way. I want that. that that's what I want all, a real dude. Th and that's why people, that's why he got to where he got. Because there Correct. was this authenticity to him. My problem with him has never been the, the fact that he's a bully and all that. I would vote for a guy. My problem with him is very simple. I think he's such a narcissist that it always relates back to him. He's not a guy. People say he'll surround himself with advisors. I, there is no evidence that that guy would ever listen to anybody. He won't listen to anybody. He won't even prepare for a debate. He won't even prepare. That's the problem. He didn't prepare for the first debate. He it was won't. very clear. But also him and his vice president don't 
Right? No, They're of like, course not. Well, did you see last night? He's talk. like, I haven't talked to him forever. Don't I don't talk. agree with that. Right. And then homeboy dropped out of the. Ra- the homeboy's out. Did you hear that? Mike Pence. Yeah, he's he's done. He wants his name off the. the what? Dick. No, yeah. he tweeted. He tweeted right after no, the no, debate he tw- ended. He, he tweeted he his support. Happy to support. Yeah. have his partner. Donald From what Trump I heard this side. morning, he I know I heard that too during. Yeah. The, did you I heard see that it during it? I thought during the debates, I saw tweets about how Mike Pence. Me too. That's what is that not true? And then I mean he. Pence, from his own personal account, tweeted, "Happy to support my yeah. my running mate Donald Trump or whatever." He, here's right my after here's him. my here's what I wish. Here's all I'm saying. The debate was so much. It was so they were insulting each other personally. It was entertaining. And you're a liar. It was entertaining. Your emails. Uh, you you don't respect women. And all it was was this tit for tat. And I wanted. I would love for them to say things like, "Hey." How are you going to deal with money and politics, campaign finance reform? What are you going to do about the fact that the Middle East is a fucking towering inferno right now? What are you going to do about the fact that we do have huge portions of our population that have been left behind in globalization that we need? People do need jobs. What are you going to do about the fact that there but they is asked a those divide? right? Be like the the because yeah, the town they hall platform. Yeah. They would well. What would happen? They go. What do you think of whatever the issue with ISIS? Yeah. And he goes. Well, we do have an issue with ISIS. She won't even bring up the name Islamic uh, extremist. Right. And then it turns to him putting all his energy He's on bringing her down. insulting, not coming up with ideas. But then Hillary goes, you know, I, my friend, whoever the fuck, uh, uh, Michelle Obama, always told me, when they go low, you go high. I'm taking yeah. the high road. Yeah. You really didn't take the high road. Well, not really. I think she was, uh, yeah, and I'm not, again, I. I and why I, did I'm that fly Hillary. land on her face? Is she was a that, robot? I thought that was my, I thought that was my, my TV. <gasps> that was a fly. Dude, it ran real? right in the middle That's of her real. eyes. That's real. The fly was like, yeah. I thought that was a meme that someone made because there's this show Westworld that just came out on HBO. I think no, that's and real. There's like a, a it, it's a running theme. Of like this fly lands on people's eyes and like, I thought that was my TV. No, that's real, brother. No, that was I, that's real. That's crazy. That's, that's how, you know, that's how you know she's yeah. Don't put honey you know between your eyes. The underground. Don't put honey between your eyes. Well, that makes me I mean hell. Yeah, no, yeah. that fly was all. I mean, so funny if flies just started landing on her. She's just like <laughs> again, again, like if they could stop and why not insulting each other and talk about lipstick off her teeth. You yeah. run for president. Yeah. How the fuck does someone not go? You got lipstick on all, the all top of your teeth. I didn't there. see that. But that's <laughs> yeah, so you have fun. a small TV. I didn't notice that either. It was a small TV. It drives me nuts. I'm like, all right, we well, got a fly on your fucking forehead. You got two. You got lipstick all over your teeth. Yeah. You can't be my president. <laughs> you look like shit. You have to dress. Nobody like that. likes. Who, nobody who likes the, either one of these who guys. Who the fuck is your stylist, my grandma? Yeah. Yeah. Who is your stylist? Yeah. Uh, can you not wear cool shit? You know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody likes either one of them. It's it, and the and only Bill, person. Bill Clinton, boy, that, you don't want to talk about someone paying for paying for his wrongs. Oh, yeah. That yeah. motherfucker looks like he has cancer right now. Yeah, right now. You talk about a tough motherfucker though. His brand has never been bigger though. As an ambassador of the world, the Clinton Fund, they do oh, all people kinds love of shit. that guy. Oh, people, making, I love that making guy. Making something like they made something like 250 million dollars just on speeches or some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, they make know, bank. Slow, yeah, they make bank, but he. Uh, I mean, he yeah. needs a nap and a fucking warm towel. He's in older. His eyes. He's older. Older? Yeah. And I they say how they old say is he? He doesn't sleep much. They say he's always been the no guy who sleeps shit. Like four hours. Yeah, because he's sending dick pics. Yeah. You're crazy if you think he's just, just committed to Hillary. No. You're f- batshit. You think guy goes from getting his dick sucked in the White House to just clean slate? Now he's out in the real world, and yeah. not everyone's watching his every and move. You know what? I don't begrudge him it. He's uh, I don't, free world, and I'm no. Fine if she wants it. to dress like that and talk like that, if I that found does out my nothing president was my having libido. an affair, including Hillary Clinton, it would not be enough for me to. I would. I would. It would have no effect on my voting. Let me ask you this. I just want you to be an effective let's say, politician. Let's say Hillary becomes president and then there's a whole scandal. She got caught sucking dick in the White House. I would have no problem. Nothing? I wouldn't give a shit. No. Just do the what job. What if she was just a raging whore, though? I'd, fine. I don't care. I don't care what you do with ah. your personal life, what I want. Like People always like, well, the president has to have character. I agree. But I want you to have good, <laughs> strong ideas. Here's why it's important to have a wise president. Here's why. Very simply, when you're the president of the United States, you have people from different segments of your government, the State Department, Department of Defense, uh, uh, your chief of staff. Everybody comes in with different ideas. They have different ideas of what to do to solve a problem. If there's a crisis, a geopolitical crisis, you're going to have the Pentagon, the State Department, you're going to have your intelligence community. Everybody's going to have different ideas and plans of what to do. And they're going to have different ideas. And it's going to get heated. At the end of the day, the president sits in a room with either his chief of staff or the secretary of state or whoever his trusted advisors are, and they have to come up. He's got to make the final Pick decision. One, right? He has got to have the ability to make the decision, the, decide the course of action. Now, of course, later on that gets yayed or nayed by Congress, et cetera, but, for, but don't kid yourself. 
you pay a president for his judgment. You pay a president for his wisdom. And that's I'd like the to see Billy thing. Bush in the. I would in the too. White House. My worry with Trump is that he he goes by only his gut. He doesn't read. He doesn't care about what the. He doesn't take the time to actually see what's going on. What's crazy? I don't is like the, Hillary. How many people either. like Trump still? Well, he's so again. Like I in think the polls, Trump, it's not terrible either. If you were with Trump and having a beer, I for for us, I will guarantee you. Oh, him or Hillary having a beer? You'd have a great time with. If him. someone said Hillary Clinton wants to have a beer with you down the street, nah, be, and she wasn't president, and talk about what women's rights, I'm bored already. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking? You about? know who? You know, hey, listen, send me an email. Listen, girl. listen, I'm really, you know, I'm really, I'm, I've always been really critical of Putin and this is an important thing for people like I love to you know criticize Russia and there's a lot to criticize the man of all men and I said I, well, the other day him. I said I'd love I'd love to debate him well oh he would I went down the rabbit me, hole sir? I went down Putin? the rabbit hole and listened to him answer some questions from people like Fareed Zakaria who's really smart I wouldn't want to He's debate him I wouldn't want to debate him that no, guy you got out of your lane there got way out of my yeah, lane yeah it's important yeah, yeah. to listen to what people you disagree with have to say because you might learn something. Well, that's also like saying, he's got a point I, of view. I bet I could beat up Mighty Mouse because he's so small. Yeah, uh, there's that's no different than saying you want to debate with Putin. I think you're right. Oh, there's there's no difference. Oh, they, no, no. He and no, 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 please no. understand something. He knows the little Russia. way more. Little Russia. He knows way more than I do about American politics and American history. Yeah, man, he's a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh, talking about a guy with a big brain. You didn't say that on this. I've said it in t when talking because yeah, it's, your friends, it's free like and to it's because I'm emotional yeah, yeah. and I just and I read and I and I have a point of view. Oh no! You want you want to have a you want to have a debate Putin? with come on because son. what he'll do smart dude. is he'll he'll look at me he would have looked at me and said wait a minute are you lecturing me on Syria oh do you, you want to go back to 2003 when you guys invaded Iraq oh, dude. and destabilize the entire Middle East or, yeah. you want to talk about the Americans yeah out of your lane a little bit. Yeah, you're laying a little he bit. he has had some really interesting oh, and funny. Now. By the way, sense of humor, killer, bad guy, sense of humor, big brain, sense of humor, big brain, big brain, and leader of Russia. Yes, leader of. I'm not. I wouldn't do well as the leader of Russia. Tough, Don't know if I could man. lead Russia. Did you? Uh, or you missed a fun fight, companion? Uh, they 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 fucked up and they they brought uh, whiskey. Uh, like a nice Did whiskey. We get some whiskey into Eddie Bravo. Uh, Eddie and Rogan had uh, whiskey. Eddie will and start then, talking. And me and my boy um, Cameron Haynes. Cam decided to pass on the whiskey. You got to pass on the whiskey. Yeah, and you got to keep. You talk about a legit badass. Cam, I, you know, I, Rogan told me a little bit about. He runs him. ultra marathons. I didn't bro. realize how bit, big of a badass he is. Hundred mile run. He has his own Under Armour shoes. He's such a badass. Yeah. 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 He's Cameron Haynes. Yeah, I, I, I looked him up after like holy shit. Kills water buffaloes with bow and arrow. Oh, they, the most they, dangerous they, animal no, no, in the world. No, 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 no. Don't call them water buffaloes. Call him Black Death, like he says. They're Black Death. They call, they call him Black Death. That's right. He has some crazy stories. Really? I wanted to get into him on the show, but you know, it's just it's a fight campaign. You missed a fun one, though. Um, well, uh, it was about five hours. It's, it's five and a half it's hours. It was a little too long. I was for me. starving. Simply ready? Simply too long, sir. It was a long one. It was, a, it was a fun one, though. One yeah. of the funnest ones we've five had. Five hours, too long. Uh, five hours is a long time. I have a point of view on the fights. Oh, yeah. Did you watch the fight? I, I got to rewatch the, the Bisbee, Dad, and Hendo, but. From from my recollection, remember this is during the campaign, so I'm talking about Tower 7, I'm talking about killing black buffalo, I'm talking, yeah. you know, Rogue and I are in other worlds, there's all sorts of And he brought shit. up Tower 7 again? Oh yeah. Oof. Hopefully not. And so, <laughs> and so um, from watching that though, I had, I thought Bisping would win in a, de a decision, Grant, he almost got finished the first and second round, I believe, mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the second round was tough, right? Because mm -hmm. He, you know, he's kind of getting pieced up, and then Hendo lands that H bomb, drops him. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't think it was a 10 8 round. You didn't. But so I gave Henderson the first, again, take this for what it's worth. I'm on a companion, and I'm, I've had a couple one, two, drinky drink, puffy puffs. So um, <laughs> I gave Hendo the first two rounds, and the, the, the last three were Bisbings. So, so here's I how I think the saw judges it. agreed with that, too, right? Yes, I think they did. It was, was it 48 47s and then a 49 46. So, which is fucking the craziest thing I've ever. Heard. I watched it twice, uh, just because I wanted to watch, and especially the it was last fifty round. minutes. I watched. Are you lying, sir? No, I watched. I watched that fight twice because I saw. For me, I don't know how you judge a ten eight round. Like I think the first round should have been a ten eight, maybe. The second round, he was getting pieced up, um, and then caught him, but not hurt. Getting pieced up and not hurt, but he was getting caught. But a lot of those shots I was watching, it looked like Hendo was actually catching a lot on his gloves and stuff. Knocks him down again, right? The th the final round, and I think for sure he lost three and four. 
The reason I give the fight to Hendo the last round. is the final round. The, it really like again, he Hendo wasn't getting hurt, didn't have a mark on him. He's getting kind of he's catching a lot of stuff. Then he took him down, and not only did he take him down, he had him. He was controlling him. Yeah. So it was a legit takedown, yeah. control of the body. So for me, if you if you guys are pretty evenly matched, you're not doing much to him. He's catching a lot of your down. shots, and then you get you take him down. I got to give the fight to Hendo. And that's why I was surprised today. But then again, you're in Manchester. He's the champ. I can understand why it went there. And then, of course, looking at his face, Jesus, I know. You never go based. I know you can never go by based on face, but man, I know. If there if there was a fight to go based by face, that was it. That and the GSP fight. I mean, that's you know. I mean, it it was it was crazy. But I got to give it up to Bisbing. What a tough, tough son to of a bitch. I, well, what I a love tough both son guys. Of a bitch. I, I, yeah, I love both guys. Yeah. It sucks for Dan because that, if that's his last fight, which I think is, I couldn't hear what he's saying after the fight. But um, he said, he said, I put everything. I he said, you know, I wish it had gone another way. He's such a class act. And he said, at the end of the day, I did everything you. I could. I'm not mad with my performance. No, you look great. Yeah. Um, 46 years old. Congrats to Biz being, man. And then now, you know, now you got the monsters looming in the dark. Oh, God. Yeah. He's so. such, Bisping's such a fighter. I don't think he'll ever retire. He, he just, he'll retire, but I think someone's going to force him. And I also think now he has the biggest paydays of his life coming up because that fight was epic, man. Yeah. What an amazing fight. You yeah. Know? Um, who, who, who does he get next? Does he get Jacare? No, they don't know, right? Because Jacare right. and Rock, Rockholder fighting, Wyman Yoel Romero are fighting. Yeah. So, and Bisbee with that face and getting hit clipped like that twice, gonna need some time off. So it's he good. He does, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Musasi, too. Uh, Musasi, he's not up there yet. Not yet. Musasi, he's, got, he's not in that top five. Because yeah, he got taken by Jacare. He's gonna have to be. Well, yeah, he got taken by, he got taken out by uh, Uriah Hall, too. But that was kind of like yeah. arguably fluky. He's. I think. Uh, I think he's ranked ten or nine or something like that. He's. He's. Yeah, a, rankings. He's like nine. one or two away. By the way, I. He's nice. Musasi's been fighting since he was six years old. He's only thirty-one years old. I know. Old. I, I looked at. It's I funny. I looked that up on Fight Night. He's like forty fights. Or thirty-one, something. and he's. I think I'm going off of memory here. This. Is, I think he's thirty-nine and six. That's, it's something like that. He has like fifty-something fights. He's and a monster. And he did the amateur kickboxing and some yeah, other he's stuff. Such like a badass. So fights. Here's the thing, uh, Vitor. Um, I went back after he just, you know, got beat up like that, and I went back and I and I watched his fights. Not only when he was on TRT. Why would you do? You that? want to talk about a different human being? Oh yeah. Oh, here I know it's going to be shocking to you. I know it's going to be shocking, controversial. Steroids work. Oh yeah. yeah. They work yeah, yeah, yeah. real well. No, we talked about it in the companion. Yeah. And, and and to see him, um, and I didn't realize how many monsters he's fought and beat. Oh, like Anthony Rumble Vitor Johnson, Belfort? yeah. Oh, How many God. monsters and heavyweights no, he fought? Vitor is a legend. Man. Alistair Overeem he fought. Oh yeah, Vitor is a legend. So legend. 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 But take. Probably should stop fighting. Well, legend. he. I don't think he can fight without TRT. I don't His think he body should. Looks I think different. he's been doing it for so long. There's just no. Yeah. There's just no. And then who yeah. else? Oh, then Manawa looked amazing. Destroyed OSP. <sighs> that body shot, then that knockout God. looked amazing, oh, man. That was so pretty. Amazing. That yeah. that that digging left hook to the body just dipped into it. Uh, Super that was nasty. Beautiful. Killer. Yeah, be interesting what they're gonna do with Bizzing because he's gonna need some time off. Then they have that kind of four man tournament going on. His eye. He just he's still able to keep fighting with that Bizzing? eye. Yeah. yeah. Well, hell yeah. He beat Rockhold with that eye. He beat Dan <laughs> Henson with that eye. No shit. I didn't seem to be. He's having a renaissance. I mean, that's a guy, his striking coach or whatever. He's just, I have so much respect for that guy to keep improving like that. He loves it, to fight. It, but also remember, Bisbing's a guy, if you look at his record, the, most of the guys he's lost to, if not all, were on TRT. Is that that's true? Isn't yeah. It? Mm-hmm. So name a guy who's benefited most besides maybe Stipe. There's actually Stipe it isn't. Stipe is probably number two, but. For the TRT generation, yeah. and with the Golden Snitch Nowitzki coming on board, no one's benefited most in the career than Bisbee. That's so true. He's the middleweight so champ of the world now. God, now think about if so think about man. for if for if Nowitzki if they would have hired him the past ten years, was Bisbee the greatest fighter of all time? Maybe that's a legit question. It's a legit question. It's interesting, right? It's a legit question. The other question, though, of course, is. With longtime champions, you know, whoever they might be, whether it's – the question is when if the playing field was even, uh, maybe you have the same champions as well, right? Maybe you, I don't maybe think you, so. No? No. I don't mm. think that's fair because look at Bisping. Yeah. Huh? Bisping was – yeah. You're right, man. T- t- take away TRT from a lot of these guys who, 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 who have failed steroid tests. Yeah. Where's Overeem at in this? Where's Brock Lesnar at in this? Where's guys who have repeatedly been, you know? No, you're right. 
guys who had the TRT exemption. It's weird when you think about it. It's so weird. Look at Bisbee. And talk about a guy, uh, the Ultimate Fighter, I think, one or two. He's on the Ultimate Fighter one or two, wins it for the UK. He's the face of UK MMA. Ten years. Ten fucking years before he gets a title shot. Yeah. Ten years in the UFC. And, the, like, his big one was against Chael Sonnen. Remember, he lost. Yeah. Probably would have got a title shot, but he yeah. lost in a, what, split decision to Chael? Yeah. And, you know, obviously Chael's the, one of the poster boys for TRT. Yep. God, that's such a good point. No, I, I love to see Bisping do well, man. It's it's amazing. He's amazing. It's amazing. He's amazing. And adding new shit to his game too. His kick, that little, little high kick, little is shuffle, nasty. little shuffle switch kick he kept throwing. Again, you you got to give it up to Perillo, his, his boxing coach. It's a guy. I, I don't know why more people aren't talking to him. Why he's not? I, I have no idea who, who's managers. So maybe he doesn't want to be. Is famous. Perillo uh, strictly a boxing coach, or is he a striking? Everything. Coach? He's okay. a striking coach, and he you yeah. know he's known for his boxing. But okay, let's go through who he works with. Uh, Michael Bisping. Champ now, yeah. and uh, Chris Cyborg. So, Jesus. Good guy. As many speaks for itself. Yeah, I don't know why more people aren't. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to take on more people. I don't know. Yeah, but he's probably the by far the hottest striking coach right now in the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bisping outbox Anderson Silva. It's unreal. It's nuts, man. It's unreal. It's unreal to me. Crazy. And 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 I think also what T.J. Dillashaw was saying on the show is like. When you take away the TRT psychologically, the psychological sort of component to that can really be damaging. It's hard to you're not you know you don't feel you, like the you, same you're talking about a different world, man. Yeah, totally. And then different. you see guys like Stepe taking over the game. Guy, you want yeah. to talk, you want you want to talk about a guy who 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 deserves more credit than he he gets or he, he gets he should be getting way more credit. Is Cain Velasquez? He's yeah. a guy who's obviously not on TRT. Yeah, was the heavyweight champ beat Brock Lesnar when he was on it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're talking about 100%. a guy who. Is you know as and clean as they tell get, me, wasn't it? and that's why that's why I think Kane he's gonna fight for Doom the end of December and the winner of that fight Stipe I think Kane if he can get through for Doom which is a big if that's a tough fight and then he fights Stipe gets through Stipe that's a huge if because that's such a hard fight for both of them mm-hmm. that's a tough coin flip sure. they match up so great mm-hmm. but it's one of the greatest fights in heavyweight history no doubt if Kane wins that <clears> fight <throat> he's number one for me of all time heavyweights that's fair. Hundred percent fair. What didn't you tell me that when you get off TRT too, like your body, a lot of times your testosterone will really crash, right? You'll get you'll go even lower. Well, you're you're gonna need stuff to to get you to said, tell your, your testes balls, and everything. Like, right. Let's all right, fellas, let's open up the shop now. We're back for hire. Let's start freaking deal with the devil, man. You know. Anyway. It's tough. Anyway. Let's do some current events. Evan the Cub the Beard. Evan the Cub the Beard. Okay, what'd you do this weekend? What, you listen to music right now? <laughs> Posting. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> um, I watched The Girl on the Train yesterday. And? Oh, it was tough. Good movie? No. Ooh. Boring? It was just really slow in the beginning. Isn't it number one right now? It made a billion dollars this weekend. Why? It was a huge book. Mm-hmm. Huge oh. book. <clears throat> huge novel. It was, just, it was just really slow in the beginning, but in the end it got good. I don't know. Emily Blunt is a really good actress. She Amazing. should definitely win something for that. But you weren't into it? <sighs> It was just a little bit slow, but is Emily Blunt the English actress? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's there's really no good Halloween movies coming out either. It's just weird to me. Yeah. I mean, you can rank Conjuring two, which was good, but there's no like. Yeah. Usually they drop some pretty <gasps> dope Halloween movies. You know what I saw? That scared the shit out of me with the most preposterous ending of all time, though. Shallow. Yes. Oh Don't you yeah. Know that? The shallow ending's ridiculous. The most ridiculous thing with that great it's a good wife, movie though. Face is like. Grr! I like, know that was the shark that ran into it. the because you know sharks will run right into the ground because they haven't been swimming. Well, forever. he was aggro. Uh, uh, like, why hey. did they just have a sound effect which was? Uh, that was great. I, I got so much great. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Know, She's such a badass. Me, she like goes to the end and he's all, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because the shark would know and then I'm going to. It was a good movie I'll though. I'll move out of the way underground. Under, Spoiler under, alert. I, I'm going to. Oh, sorry. Who gives a shit? I'm going to. It was gonna, a good movie though. It was good. It was yeah, a I great thought it was a good movie. movie. Great movie. Great movie, but her, 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 her little homie is just a seagull the whole time. <laughs> now nah, let's go ahead and eat him though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have called him. I need him. Eat and it. why didn't the great white eat when he was on that little board? Why didn't the great? I thought for sure this, he was going to get eaten. Me too. The seagull, I'm like, kill Me him. Me too. Why did they call it? Um, Sh- the shallow. The great movie, but great movie, but gay. But why call it the shallows? Uh, There's nothing know. shallow about that movie. I don't know. The no, water wasn't shallow. The water was kind of shallow. You could see through it. 
So call it clear water. That's, that shark was so scary. No, wasn't it creepy when she was swimming to the freaking dead whale? Like, why would you swim there? What are you doing? Hey. Oh, God. Hey, give me anxiety. You grew up a surfer. You see a dead whale, and she's like, what is going on here? Oh, my God. Hey, man. Get the fuck That's out shark of here. central. Like, so Great intense. whites are all over. Hey, and th whales. then she jumped up on that nasty yes. whale, and that shark's like, this stupid <laughs> bitch, two for one. <laughs> two for two one. Two for one. It's two. like sizzling. Got me bitch. a cherry on my Sunday. <laughs> when you go ahead and knock you off. Got me a blonde cherry on my Sunday. Yeah, he got about to pop some cherry over here. That, that shark was vicious, man. I know, it was so, Good, yeah, so there's shitty movies in the theaters, but there's legit movies to rent. Like there's The Conjuring 2, X Men, so the I new X Men. You see the new X Men? No. Uh, we rented last night. I fell asleep within two minutes, probably, but <laughs> at nine o'clock at yeah. night. But it, I heard it's really good. Uh, there's some other shit to watch too. There's a bunch of movies to rent. I just can't believe there's no, there's no scary movies, man. Yeah. I bank on scary movies. Yeah, I love scary movies. I, shallows scared the fuck out of me. I'm so afraid. There's a of movie. Sharks. I forget that. Yeah, me too. It's terrified of him. Oh. There's a movie. I forget what it, I saw it, but it's actually a legit scary movie. Like the first one I've seen in a while. Well, I, turn off the lights or the uh, one with the blind guy. Don't breathe. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's. What don't breathe is good. Not scary. More suspense. Oh, oh, I know which one you're talking about. They, so the lady, <laughs> if there's light, so the the previews, you're chewing your nails already. The, the, <laughs> so when you turn off the lights, like you think you see something, and then you turn them on. And they're like, what the fuck is that? You turn off, it's closer. Yes. And it's this lady, it's Dude. dark. Yes. And yeah, I'm no spoilers, but the ending is D -d 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 dark. Not the way you think it would end. I was oh, like, you oh, saw it. All I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, Wait, I saw can it. Can you tell us? All, I'm, ends? all yes. I'm gonna say. No. Why? No. I want no. to know. I'm never gonna watch it. I hate. No, we can't. Movies. Why? Because people won't listen. You, 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 <sighs> you know, you know. They say uh, humans when they see a scary movie, it releases the same endorphins, endorphins as yeah. sex. No can thanks. I can I tell us <laughs> that one's for free? May I may I may I give you a movie to watch and if you don't watch it then God damn it, don't go old school. No The Shining. No, 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 no. It No, it's a new movie, but it's Korean. It's a horror movie called The Wailing. Has anybody seen this? No. Do me a favor and just <laughs> just when you get a chance, don't worry about it. Just watch the trailer and then tell me There's if you want to see it. Subtitles don't scare hey, everybody me. Ready? When I have to read the subtitles, uh, I'm not as scared. Well, well I, I beg to differ because the devil comes to a small town. So I'm going to say, devil comes to a small town. <laughs> Please watch The Wailing and get back to me. Get back to Fighter and the Kid. Did let you, us know. Did you ever see... Uh, terrifying. Did fucking you, terrifying. Did you ever see the original Ring or The Grudge? Oh, the Grudge. That started no. in Japan or no. uh, somewhere out there? No. How about they're trying to remake Blair Witch Project? Get the fuck out of yeah. my face with that. How are you going to remake Bla it? Do you remember Blair Witch, Blair Witch Project? When it came out, it was like, that's actual footage, man, of this ghost, blah, blah. Sure. So I remember my buddies were like, dude, I got tickets to this ghetto-ass theater. I forget <laughs> what it was called. The Aztec in Denver. So I doubt it's still there. And he's like, I got three tickets, man. We're like, damn, should we go? And we the lines, I mean, this thing's the hottest ticket in town. We go because when you're watching, you think it's legit footage. Like, it's not a movie. They just edit it. But yeah. it's someone with this. So you put up with the motion sickness just to yeah. get to the end to see this goddamn devil or ghost, whatever's in the woods. Right. And then, you know, you see it and you're like, oh, that is some crazy shit. We were so scared that night. So with the lights on. Damn right. And then a few days, a few weeks later, it's like, oh, no, that was a movie. That, that wasn't real at all. I'm like, what the fuck? It was the lo most low budget that movie. That footage was, yeah, the I remember that was very shitty. well. It was like VHS. But when you think it's real, I'll put up with it. That's what my friend said. So now you're going to recreate it? My buddy said, my buddy was like, we watched it and it was like really scary. And then we're like, this crazy. It, was, it had to have been fake, right? Yeah, it was fake. And then we find out it was fake. And my buddy goes, that movie sucked, man. That's so terrible. That's so oh, no. Bad. When you know that it's fake, it might be the worst movie ever made. Yeah. Because the only reason but it's a great buying, idea. You, the only reason you're buying into it is great because idea. Yeah. you know footage like, was mean, found. Yeah, footage was found. Great movie. Dude, great movie idea. Was huge. Great idea. Well, it cost seven dollars to make. Yeah. Genius. Like, Genius idea. Phone. I know. Yeah. Brilliant, right? It's also like um, the, uh, what's the, what's that the other movie? Yeah, um, no, like, yes. Oh, yeah. That scared the fuff fuff fuff. Until you realize there's nine of them. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, there's yeah, there's there like, like, well, there can't be nine. Yeah. Well, that's why like tomorrow, and hopefully, the hopefully you make the show. But we have the number one ghost investigator coming on the show. I gotta make this. He sent me video, and I'm like, oh shit. He goes. He goes, I know Brian, and he, he's a big fan of the show. Shout out to this guy. Forget his name. Don't worry, I remember I'm gonna him make it. <laughs> But he goes, he goes, I know Brian's a, uh, he Skeptic. doesn't believe in ghosts. He goes, Skeptic. he goes, let me come on. I'll show you guys videos that I can't show on TV. 
to Brian, I guarantee he will be a believer. I can't wait. And I went, oh, I can't wait for you guys to get it's into scary. it. It's going to scare me. We should decorate the studio like Halloween-ish. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, listen, Keelan. Hey, man. Should we put cobwebs He comes in, on? he's like, what the fuck is this? We're like, Ooh. hey, can you put on that mask? Yeah. Uh, well, we're no. Dress, we're Sir, this is white, my job. We're dressed in white sheets with like holes, but we're not KK members. We're just Casper. And my, and my, Shitty there's a Casper hole in my <laughs> mouth. I'm just chewing on caramel the whole time. <laughs> we're just some assholes. <laughs> just eating you dress caramel. up as the Joker on Batman. We just make a whole mockery of his whole show. <laughs> so tell us oh, about- Oh, ghost. <laughs> tell us about yours. I'm the Joker. Oh, dude, he reached out and I was like, what? That like all he was explaining a lot of stuff. I'm like, holy balls, we gotta have you on the show, especially Halloween edition. It's gonna be sick. What's his name? We'll uh, hold on, I hold gotta, please. I'm gonna go pee out of my hold on, dong. hold on. You're gonna drain that beaker. I'm gonna squeeze my dong and then I'm gonna ring it. Out. You're gonna ring out that Doesn't ghost. Need dong. To be rung out, his name's right. Chad Calic. Chad Calic. Chad Calic. The expert? ghost, the ghost whisper. Oh, he's a ghost whisper. Mm, no, that's right. what I call him. All right. I'm going to go pee, and I'm going to wring my dick out, even though I don't need to. I'm going to give it a good old Indian uh, uh, rug burn or whatever it's called. And Indian I'm gonna, rug burn. I'm going to wring that, the fuck That means jacking off. Oh, but I'm going to wring it out. I'm going to grab it by the base and by the by You're the talking end. about like, like when you're washing your car? Uh, you know, exactly. When you, like ring, when you ring a rag out, I'm going to grab it by the base. I'm going to grab it by the end, and I'm going to wring that fucker, and it's going to hurt. And I, and I, like, and like it's breaking the... You, yep. know what, you know what I call it? Breaking the chicken's neck. Yep, and then my dick's going to go, come on, man, you're causing tissue damage. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to ring even more. I'm going to go even more. I'm going to, I'm going to go another notch. No mercy. Yep. No mercy. I'll film and it. And if I can't, if my, if my wrist will bend more, I'll do even more. I'm going to really ring this fucker out and I want you to watch. I'll film it. All right. We'll be back in a minute after these two ring their dicks out. Yeah. Good ring dick. It's time for current events. Current events. It's time to have some current events and meaning that they're events that happened recently, meaning that this is the thing that happened just now but some people listen to the show like two days later so like well so there's sort of current events that happen two throwback days thursday throwback, events throwback thursday <laughs> depends on you happened. listen it doesn't matter what matters is our point of view on the head. all right Ev, what First do you got current event the nevada commission finally oh. issued handed down a uh, punishment for conor mcgregor for the whole water bottle throwing incident at ufc 202 150 he got a grand hundred fifty thousand dollar fine and Dude. 50 hours of community service what let me ask you this how much did they find john jones and uh daniel cormier when they got in the fight on stage 50 hours of community service what That's was that ridiculous. fine Jones was fined forty thousand dollars and given forty hours of community service, and DC was issued a nine thousand dollar fine and twenty hours of community service. But I mean, and so so they. So think, this is apparently significantly so th- worse than a brawl. In the so they South. think throwing, throwing water, water bottles is more of a crime or more horrendous than two men fighting in front. Of and a live audience, just so everybody at a knows, press conference. and just so everybody knows, this is these are government bureaucrats. These are state government bureaucrats, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they have power. Since they have the power, it seems to me that they can arbitrarily decide that it's hundred and fifty thousand dollars more money than they've ever seen in their life. It's a percentage well, it of his looks, purse. Yeah, That's it might be a percentage of the purse. So it, was it is. Five per, it's five percent of Connor's purse, That's, which was. Uh, Three million dollars. Jesus, still, that's a lot of money. I don't care what anybody says. One hundred and fifty grand for throwing water bottles. And Jones was fined ten percent. And and who decides that? I, I just think it's government oversight. The commissions do. For, yeah, commissions. Well, it's, 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 it's tyranny. It's completely arbitrary. What, tyranny. What, what, what percentage? Yeah, they you got, got you got you got these commission guys. For me, it sounds like they're on a power trip. What a surprise! And I I, I think it's bullshit. Give the guy a slap on the wrist. He threw water. Nobody got hurt. I, I'm 50 hours of community you have no recourse. You have no recourse. Service. Nothing you can do, guys. $150,000. Just the government. The government. They, you don't even know who they are. There's no accountability. I'm just going to... I got power, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find them 150 grand and 50 hours of community service. I, I, guess, I guess what happens if Connor doesn't do the 50 hours of community service, doesn't pay, you just can't fight in Vegas, right? What's that? I, I, if Connor doesn't do it, then he, he's just suspended by Vegas commission. and. I think that's how it works, yeah. Yeah. And they can do whatever the they other want. commissions you know, I, are expected I, I, to sort of fall in line with whatever the Nevada State Athletic Commission does well, generally. But that's by no—I mean, it would be kind of tough for a, a commission to turn down a McGregor fight. That's what in I'm their, saying. In their state, that's a lot of if, money. If, if I'm Connor, I flex my power on this one. I would too. I, I would go. Seems like a dude, lot of One hundred fifty thousand dollars for throwing water bottles. Then you want to? I know it's by percentage, but still, just by sheer numbers. And I'm not doing fifty hours no. community service. I got to train. How about this, Vegas? 
How about fuck you? How about I'm not fighting your state no more? Right. How about that? Who are you guys? Put some pressure on you, rich on. white guys trying to jump. Fuck you. So who, what is this? Who appoints and the then, commission? And then I'll see. You're gonna have to put heat on the UFC because let, now let's talk about <laughs> this. How how much did that? How much more did that sell tickets for that pay per view by them hyping that? So who benefits off that? Exactly. The UFC. So what I think needs to happen is the UFC should pay half. Yep. Connor should pay half. Or forget all that. The UFC should pay his fine. Yeah. That's what should happen. That's fair. How, you're telling me the UFC didn't make up $150,000 more off Connor from that incident? Does anyone want to argue that? I agree. Now think about it. Most general public goes, you know, maybe they're a Connor fan, maybe they're not. They see that. They go, oh, shit, I want to see that. These guys hate each other. Yeah. I'm going to buy it now. And they were throwing If you don't think the UFC bottles. made $150,000 more because of that press conference, you're batshit crazy. That's who should pay the fine. Connor should flex his muscle saying, I'm not doing shit. In 50, 50 hours of community service, you can keep that. Whatever. You ready for it to get even weirder? Sure. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, it's like, I can barely read this without laughing. NSAC members hashed out the details of the anti-bullying ad, agreeing to order McGregor to perform 10% of his community service hours towards filming an anti-bullying PSA and putting 50% of the fine, or 75 grand, Towards production costs, with the remainder going to the state's general fund. What the there you go. fuck? There, there you go. They're forcing him. They're forcing him. They're, they're to, using to his public again, uh, again persona to shoot a, to shoot a commercial yeah. uh, uh, that they were going to make anyways. Anytime you give, just so you know, anytime you give government a lot of power, this is what happens. It's called tyranny. The but irony you don't of have to do it. giving an anti-bullying PSA is the most fucking outrageous thing i've ever thought of in my life you also don't have you don't have to do it you do not have to do it yeah yeah so most commissions are listening to each other no like you think masking square garden if he does if he says ah, i'm not doing that forget you, you think new, the new york commission you go oh take connor off the card we don't want these tens of millions of dollars that he brings yeah no That's a good you're point. talking about a different animal now if Someone even on a lower tier does this. You don't. You don't have an argument. But if Connor does this, sticks to his guns, he, he can get through this. I agree. Shoot a commercial. So you're sh- making so, me shoot so, a, com- so political just, this, a political this, commercial. It's a political. This is what Connor should do. You want me to shoot a commercial? Here's my rates. It's not 150. To shoot to have Connor shoot a commercial for you, I promise you, it's more than 150 thousand dollars. Yeah. So he should go. Listen, I'm not doing your bullshit committee service. I'll shoot a commercial for you, uh, manager. Send him my rates. Here's my rates. You guys owe me about two hundred fifty thousand now, because to shoot a commercial, it's going to take four hundred thousand dollars. I owe you one hundred fifty. Go and take that out of that standard daily rate. All for throwing water bottles. But but remember, throwing those water bottles hyped the fight, which which sells more tickets, right? Which gets the UFC more money, right? So who's being disciplined here? Not the UFC. They make way more money when shit like this happens. Not the Nevada Commission. No, no Nevada Connor's com- the only commission one is that, power hungry. They just want to. Oh, they're the same people that wanted to ban. Nick Diaz for life. They banned yeah. Wanderlei Silva for life. Yeah, they suck. Think about these guys. They suck. Think about these tools. They, they're Think if tools. that's your job. Oh, all right, guys, that water bottle incident. Let's sit around and uh, what do we need to do? Well, dude, we could use this mega star, the biggest UFC star of all time. Well, let's let's have him shoot a commercial. And then let's charge him one hundred fifty thousand dollars. And they were bullied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how ridiculous! I mean, you know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not for bullying, but you can't forcing an athlete. Well, no, they're bullying. Forcing Connor. an athlete they're to be a mouthpiece for your agenda, as if, by the way, I'm not. I'm not even so sure that 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 would even work against bullying. Maybe it would, but you have to. You have to leave that up to the discretion of the athlete. I think that's ridiculous. Connor needs to go. Here's go my, and here's ask my daily rate: five hundred grand. You bitches owe me three hundred fifty grand now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were. I like they the were idea. kicking around the idea of the uh, of the fine being ten percent, which would have made it actually three hundred grand. It's hilarious. Well, of course they it's were. Insane. You know why? Because they, they can do whatever they want because they have the power. And whenever you, again, whenever you give a government bureaucrat power over you, history would suggest that they can do whatever and do do whatever they want. It's up to the discretion of the human being. And people like having power over other people. In an incident like this, I don't think Connor should have to pay the fine. I think the U.S. Dana White should pick up that bill. Yeah. Well, let's. it'll be interesting to see what happens. Next event, please. Uh-oh. Next event is courtesy of TMZ. Demi Lov- According to Jay Glazer, Demi Lovato wants to ta- take a real MMA fight. Jesus. That's these, a shame. All these uh, actor entertainers wanting to really fight. Well, who am I? I, I was a fighter who's trying to act and entertain. <laughs> you know what? You're goddamn right, argument. Brandon. I don't have an argument there. But, but so however, you're doing if, all right. If you're Demi Lovato and you look like that, why not just be a great singer? 
Why not just be keep beautiful, singing beautiful? Why not be the songbird singer. of our generation? Yeah. Yeah. So according to Glazer, uh, who owns Unbreakable Gym, Demi's been training there for over a year. Yeah, wow. And quote... She's brought it up to us a million times. She throws elbows better than most of the UFC guys that come in here. She's definitely one of our fighters, without a doubt. All right, hey, well, Jay, no, Jay, Jay, let's relax. Listen, I love Jay Glazer. He's my boy, but you know, he's also a headline maker. He obviously doesn't make headlines, but you know he doesn't believe that. No. No, Jay's and too smart. For Demi Lovato is I would pay she's to watch beautiful and talented. Yeah. Hey, if CM Punk can fight, why not Demi Lovato? Sure. Like I said, do you want to open up this floodgate? Give her, give her somebody who's at her level to fight. I'm sure she'd do great. She's probably a very competitive person and maybe yeah, athletic. Yeah. For all I, mean, she, I think she's still dating Luke Rockle. Luke will Never give know. teach her some stuff. Yeah, Luke, teach her some shit. Luke, yeah, Luke, she Luke knows, hard as, she Luke hard knows as hell. a thing or two about. Is MMA. Whitney doing anything? Uh, pro or not pro? Uh, Whit Miller she, she, from yeah, on is, it. Is no, take another fight? she's one and done. She's just doing it for like to learn the in, in and out of boxing and actually competing you know she's doing it to help her entertainment career because she wants yeah. to do like boxing hosting gigs and other stuff she's so she just wanted to dive into that world and get out and there's an amateur fight with yeah. headgear Good. mma fight i mean different, stuff man different so would you ever actually legitimately entertain the idea of it? like since you, since you said it yourself the cm punk thing already opened up this is no game. different than we CM just punk say fuck it the, I'm sure the UFC would. No, this I, is I, I different than CM line. Punk because is, is it different no, 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 with women? It's very no, no, but this is different than CM Punk. But here's why: Demi Lovato saying, "I want to take an MMA fight." She's not saying I want to be in the UFC. She's saying I'll take an MMA fight. Very good point. That's like that. That's just like saying that there are probably somebody at her level that she could do a fight with. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a challenge. It's great. Now, if Demi Lovato said, "I want to go into the UFC and fight a legit fighter," obviously that would be like CM Punk. And the, the difference is CM Punk. Correct didn't realize or or had the gall or whatever it is to say, I'm going to compete on the biggest stage Mickey where gall. people with a guy like Mickey Gall with a real fighter. And, uh, and uh, you saw what happened, which we all knew. Mamba mask hits an auction. The sad, the sad thing is if she wanted to fight in the UFC, I don't know where you draw the line because CM Punk did it. Why can't she do it? And remember, WME owns the UFC now. This is true. So the UFC is owned by celebrities. Demi Lovato is a celebrity. We're going to get a celebrity on celebrity fight? Who knows? But Who's, then it's not the UFC anymore. It what, drives me crazy. Are there any other girl celebrities that train? Yeah, but oh, they I'm know sure. of? I'm sure there I'm are. Sure. But again, again, the the vast difference between somebody who's made it to the big show, to the UFC, and everybody else is, is again, it's a vast difference. And I just but the pay per view numbers were so high for CM Punk. Sure, if you're a businessman. Sure, if you're a like, businessman and you're into, if you're into entertainment and spectacle, that's fine. But the UFC is also supposed to be about talent for fighting and what it takes to get there. What else you got, Ev? Next one, we got Amanda Nunes saying that it's highly likely that she'll fight Ronda on December thirtieth. Wow. Mm. For I feel like she doesn't do it. She doesn't talk to the press that often. So for her to come out and say something as it's, I mean, it's not definitive, but it's kind of close to it. Dang. Highly likely. We haven't heard much about the, about Rhonda's comeback. It's been not at all. They say she's training. The she, they say she's training, but who knows, man? Well, it's any, good. It's a good inside scoop here. I mean, I don't talk to the girl anymore. I think, uh, I mean, good fight for Ronda to come back to. I'm yeah. I'm glad they're not making her come back and fight Cyborg. That would no. Mm -mm. But 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 um, as far as a good fight for Ronda with this, um, Ronda's ground game obviously is light years ahead of hers. Is it really? Even though Amanda's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, light, years, light yeah, years, different animal. And then and the rest is uh, stand up. So it'd be and Amanda comes forward. Amanda you knows power puncher comes forward. That's. That's a perfect Ronda storm to, she'll get, close that to get distance. annihilated. Yeah, it's a great fight for Ronda. Matchup wow. stylistically. But, yeah, cyber, mm, let's not. Speaking of Cyborg, no. I don't know if you – I think you guys might have hit on this on the, on the Fight Companion for a minute, but she did an interview um, over the weekend. I think it was over the weekend where she said that something along the lines of, like, maybe if I was, like, I'd like blonde hair and blue eyes. was like, well, Basically, if I was white – then she's basically saying I would, if I, I was, have, then I would have, I would have my own division. Yeah. She's basically saying if I was Rhonda, I would have my own division and she's 100% correct. Yeah. I took it as a straight like race thing. No, not, no, not a race no. thing. It's not a race thing. Her, her thing is it, 
how do I explain this? So if there's a beauty contest, Ronda would be number one. You know, mm-hmm. Cyborg's not in that contest. Yeah. Now, if there's a yeah. skill competition, Cyborg's the number one yeah. female fighter in the world. In this day and age, in the fight entertainment business we're in, you have to have the whole package. Now, her being as muscular as she is, looking the way she is, knocking these girls senseless, it's tough to market on like Rhonda, who's a very pretty girl with all these skills, yeah. and she's the face of MMA. So it's a little different. As a, as a fan, to be completely honest, as a fan, what, what I think, I think Chris Cyborg is very impressive. But as a fan, when I watch Chris Cyborg walk into that ring, when I see the way her voice sounds, everything else about it, I am reminded of someone who got, like I don't mean this to sound in a bad way, but I, I, I honestly it makes me feel like you got a lot of testosterone and male genetics and you're, you're so, you're so much more masculine, even just naturally you, you were, you were made to kick it's not ass. Her fault, though. It's not her fault. All I'm saying is that she's so in a class by herself in that sense that I think, um, it's, it's difficult for me. It's, it's almost like, yeah, I expect you to win because of just physically how you're built, how big you are, Ronda's, how strong you are. Ronda's built differently than Keeley. It is true. You it's true. It's true. It's true. But I, she has cauliflower in her Yeah, yeah, no, there's, there's no question. I just, again, I like, um, I'm, it's this is a fucked up thing for me to say. It's it's a kind of a bias thing. She to doesn't say, look but she like feels, a pretty woman. She feels so masculine to me, like in every way. Like she she looks like she fights. She could she could compete in the guys' division, um, and. Uh, and maybe she should maybe be, the steroids she took she for a long be time. Penalized. I don't know. She shouldn't be penalized for that, though. No, she's a great fighter. She's amazing. The, but she's the best in the world. I, I, to me, hate, she's, I hate that I even said that. To me, she's number one in the world. I hate that I said that out loud. Maybe I just, what I'm trying to say is that she's so far ahead physically anyway. And, so and is Ronda, though. Nah, um, not anymore. I mean, not with these women. I just feel like Cyborg would beat the shit out of everybody so quickly, including Holly Holm, including everybody. Um, that you don't want to see it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, also she's also she's a different weight class, isn't she? I mean, she's a different fucking weight class than Ronda. She walks around at one seventy five. Uh, yeah, but she can, make, you know, she makes one forty. Yeah, tough for her. Yeah, but she makes it. Yeah, Ronda I kind of, I kind of regret what I'm trying to say, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Because you, you can't hold looks against a person, right? You, you just can't. Skills have to speak for themselves, especially, and and it, it's never more. Evident than in the women's division. Yeah, not because looks. I, 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 yeah, you can't. That's exactly what you're doing. Well, I'm, I guess what I'm doing but is I'm, not I'm holding you, most people. Yeah, I'm holding her. I'm holding her natural gifts of it seems more testosterone, a different body and bone structure. That, hap- that happens in men's sure division does. too. And a man in Nunez. You tell me. You're telling me Anthony like, Johnson to have more testo- testosterone than most of the guys. You're right. So do you hold it against him because he has giant shoulders and a weird jaw? It's true. Yeah, it's a, a jack jaw. It's a very good question. But, but, it's like but, that woman but, who. But won with the, women, it's the the physicalness of a woman that when you look at them, we judge that. I don't give a fuck who. That, no, you're, right. you're judging it based just off that. Yeah, you really are. Men, you got Roy Nelson. We we don't care. You got Anthony Johnson. You got uh, Fedor, who one of the worst bodies in MMA, one of the yeah. greatest champ. We don't care. But with women, don't get me wrong. Paige Van Van Zandt is an amazing fighter. You're telling me if Paige was a solid three in the looks category, no, she'd, you're right. She'd be on Dance with so Stars Cyborg or Superstar. Right. She's right. She's right. So Cyborg. You're, you're is telling right. me Ronda would be as big a star she is if she was. A two? Yeah. If she looked like Shrek yeah. or Fiona? You, you're telling me you're telling Misha Tate would be as big a star if she, you know, you she, know, if she looked like Fiona. Chris Cyborg doesn't have a lot of feminine energy, and that's probably exactly that's why what's she's going the best on. in the world yeah. too, though. It's that's tough, right. man. But look, but look at so when you look see at, her in there, you go most athletes in 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 female sports like. Uh, you know they're they're gonna have more testosterone. A lot of them sure. are beautiful, but they're you can't hold it against. Them, yeah, is what and I'm Chris saying. Cyborg is more extreme on that scale. She looks like a female superhero. But like this is but this is the problem. Damn. Like in Chris Cyborg has a like I said, I don't know what you do with her because okay, yeah. you're gonna make her kill herself cutting to 140. Right. She's 100 percent correct when she says if I was blonde hair, blue eyes, and look different, You'd give me the you guys would create division. divisions. Because my skills are so much better than anyone you've ever had in here. And you've made divisions for other people at 115, at 135, and I have to basically almost kill myself to make 140? Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? Right. And you're telling me you can't make a division 145? And they should. But yet, you, but yet you open up 115 and you were worried about that. It's one of the thickest division divisions you've seen now. When, with if you women, build it, with, they will with, come. With women at 135, we were worried about that. Amazing fighters at 135 now. We got all sorts of personalities and amazing fighters. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me at 145, why doesn't it work? I agree with you. 
But then you want to do a show called Looking for a Fighter where you're looking for men still? Yeah. Uh, she has every right to be upset. It I doesn't make right. sense. She's been waiting in the wings forever, and she's so dominant. Then let me ask you this. How long are you going to wait for? Till, till she's older and, and, and injuries catch up with her, age catch up with her, and then you throw her Rhonda or Misha? What right. are you waiting for exactly? Right. Are you worried that she's going to dismantle your entire 135 division? Because that's probably what would of happen. Course. So make a 145-pound division. Make a division for her and let her be the queen of that division. You know that, that women in two years will be if If, if you country. don't think that they're holding Cyborg back from fighting all those girls at the 135 division, you're – you're you're yeah. just being naive. Everybody There's knows. a reason why Cyborg isn't fighting those girls. Yeah. yeah have, you, have you ever seen Jurassic Park with a T-Rex and they bring up the little goat? That's what's going How on. How would Holly home? Is there anybody in the 35 pound division? Holly's the there? best matchup for it. But for again, her. good luck. Good luck. Good, that's stylistically that's the best matchup for it. Good luck. But again, you cannot discipline someone because of their physical features yeah. in a female weight category. Yeah. I guarantee if she You're was right. a male, she'd be on every fucking poster in the world. You're right. She'd be selling Reebok kits like fucking hot sauce. Nobody wants to say it, but in, in, again, I, I fall guilty of this. She has she has such a masculine quality to her because her voice is deep. You see her, she looks like this. She looks like a superhero. She looks like, like a... You know, she does. She looks like she's naturally on steroids. That's fine. Or she can't be disciplined for that. I know that, and I and I'm and I and I think all of us, like me, and when we watch women's fighting, there's a femininity that's supposed to come with it, and then you get somebody like Chris Cyborg, who's there's, not. But there's that, women fighting not on that scale. The women yeah. fuck beating the crap and, out of her, and each she's other. so skilled. And now you got a girl who, I'm sure, you know, whether she's failed steroid tests or not, let's take that out of it. I guarantee you. She's had high uh, testosterone levels all her life. So do I. She's, yeah. she's always been a tomboy. She's always been attracted to sports. Yep. And then now she finds her calling. And she's being penalized because she doesn't look like a Victoria's Secret model. There's an Olympic athlete. Huh? She's an 800 meter. Did you see the woman who's she's black? She's from Africa or somewhere. And she's she's so masculine. She's got the deepest voice. You would think it's a guy. Um, if, you, if you do testosterone in sports and track and field. You'll I see doubt her. she's the first that comes up in that. Oh, not is not Caster Sim. Yes, Caster Semenya. Bring her up. Well, for this a second. this is a gender bring debate article, so she bring her, uh, up. bring her up. Oh no, she's running as yeah. a woman. Now she's running. Now she is a woman, but she has so much natural testosterone. And you remember when they had this thing about how some women have testes inside their uterus? Yeah. So they have. Uh, uh, okay, I missed that. Kind of okay, that. so some women, some <laughs> women have. They have to go through. They have to go Fuck through. Yes, you. they do. They have. They is have, this a movie? No, this is true. And they have to go through a certain kind of gender testing because there's something chromo. Uh, there's a chromosome where they share like half a chromosome. There's something going on where they actually have more natural testosterone. Yeah, it's a it's a chromosomal abnormality. Uh, so she has internal testes. There you go. Um, she, has some, some she has levels of testosterone three times higher than is expected in women due to hyperandrogenism. She has no womb or ovaries, but because of this abnormality, no she has ovaries. internal so testes. She have a baby. So she's basically so she'd be sucks, labeled. Man. I guess she would be generally labeled as intersex. She's intersex. So How she's about? getting. So she's being. Well, she's, she's intersex. Being sure, her testosterone levels are naturally three times higher. She's built like a man. If you look at this picture, it's unbelievable. But she still has skills, though. Well, she has skills, but what I'm saying is that it's 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 so readily apparent that she's she's so physically different than the women. But let she's me ask you against. this, B. But let, so but let me ask you just, this. It's a like, complicated like, question. Like, like uh, Allison Felix, the U.S. Uh, gold medalist. I'm sure if you did a blood test on her, her testosterone. She's a beautiful woman, by yeah. the way. But you, uh, it has nothing to do with this woman sure. who has testicles. But with uh, with Allison Felix, who's obviously we're we're born at a di not everyone's. No. Equal when it comes to genetics. Mm -hmm. If you test her testosterone levels and you test Keeley's, yeah. she's going to be higher. So at what point do we go, ah, that's too high. You're you right. can't do that. So, that, so, that is so, the question. So, so, the, the, so question. the UFC, what, let's say Cyborg, who, yeah, she's failed one steroid test before. Let's take all that out. Let's just do it regular. And let's say her testosterone is three to one. Right. Well, what's Rhonda's? Well, what, what's Misha Tate's? Where do we draw the line at? That's a very good question. You can't just draw it on someone because yeah. it's crazy high. Yeah. Well, this is the question. There's a reason why they're professional. There's a reason why they're in the well, but this, this, they're built different than is, the rest this of This is you. the question being asked. And in fact, the question is being answered by the Olympic Committee, which is even though she's intersex, she's allowed to compete in the female division because technically she's still a woman. Now, you do have to bring into account the fact that if she does have testicles, even though they're 
inside her and she doesn't have a womb or <laughs> ovaries. Crazy conversation. Yeah. And she has such strong male features and she's that dominant because of it. Is she that dominant? Yes. Is she number yes, one? She, yes. She's destroying people. <laughs> well, I mean, she's, this, this came she's like the road runner? the Olympics. Yeah. And so, so, so then do? the question becomes, and she I, took gold. <laughs> and she took gold. Oh yeah, no, no, she, she took gold. She and the girl, everyone. and the girl was crying. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, the girl was just. She but the U.S. Seven. team beat her in the, the in the relay. Uh, I don't know, but her times so are. We did. Crazy. We got gold. Yeah, yeah, this is a different. Well, I don't know what the event is, but either way, it really does raise the question: if you have f- physically, in, if you are physically different, yet you're not a man, but you. But all athletes are physically different. Well, again, like the, Anthony Johnson compared to Daniel compared Cormier. Compared to me. Well, no, well, obviously, but in the UFC, yeah. at, you, I'm sure if you took everyone's genetics and you looked at everything, sure. everyone's so different. Yeah. Anthony Rumble Johnson is built different than everyone else. Uh, John Jones, genetics are different than everyone else. Yeah. GSPs was different than everyone else. Those are the one percent. Aren't they still? They're still clearly. They're clearly clear metrics and markers for them. they them being men. And but there are still, clear metric markers for, for Misha Tate being a woman. But now sometimes you get an intersex person. The question just becomes... She's still a woman, though. Is she not being disciplined on life enough? She can't have children. Of course it's very it's difficult. fucking terrible. Of course it is. And we all want she to walks we all through as be a fair. Woman. We all want to be fair. That's why I felt bad even saying what I said about Chris Cyborg, because yeah, I have a lot of respect up. for her. But I'm just saying it is a question we have to raise. If you don't raise it... But, it, but I'm it, saying where do you, you know, draw the line? I don't know. Like, that's at, a great at what question. point do you go, ah, oh, fuck, Shabbos 2020 vision. This guy doesn't. Yeah, you're right. You, you you're, can't fight, man. You're right. Nature's not fair. It's not equal. Um, I, I don't, I white, don't know. White guys in the NBA can't jump as the black guys. All right, man. We got to start disciplining maybe, the black guys. Maybe you, maybe you draw the line... Go in the locker room. It gets re- you find out real fast. There's some genetic differences. Yeah, real fast. <laughs> real fast. I don't look like that. You guys can eat McDonald's every day. Well, I'm starving myself. Well, as your dick down to the ground. Why is mine so small? From my experience, just from my experience, there is a genetic difference. Uh, this isn't fair. Yeah, I don't know. Then get out, bitch. No, but, but then price shouldn't be competing. But the difference, but. I see what you're saying. Men and women. No, I'm with men you. and women I'm have. Playing devil's men, 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 but you're men asking, also have you're estrogen. Asking a good men question. also have estrogen. Yeah, you're asking Let's a good question. Let's say my estrogen's crazier high than some. My, than it, Travis it is. Brown. You got. Let's it, say my estrogen is through the roof. You got dead. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. then I'm gonna need something to bring it down. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I agree. It's a complicated question. And man. so, but so estrogen is in males' bodies. Testosterone's in female bodies, yeah. and then and you some people have actually levels, higher levels. And uh, both of them, like somebody, the track and field coach was saying, Maurice Green's natural testosterone levels was something like, I don't, they, they did like yeah, they were like literally lying. like Maurice eleven. Been tested no, of course, so many times, of course. But he had no, it's high naturally. He, he, oh, sure. he had he had his, his his resting testosterone level was something crazy, and then another guy had very low. He was a sprinter, and his was like, and he goes, so what do you do? I mean, one guy's coming into the race with higher less levels naturally. You ever anyway. heard Chris Weidman talk about? It? He no. got his levels checked, and he goes, fuck, man. Like, I can't get a TRT exemption. I think he's one fighting Vitor. Right. He goes, I got my levels checked. It was like 300. I'm on the lower spectrum of it. What Damn do you it. do? Damn I it. just deal with it and train. Yeah. It's like, what do you do, man? Yeah. It's part of the game. Yeah. And what do but you now, do? But now, couldn't you say, well, well, 300, Vitor's is 1,400. Right. So that's an advantage. Sure it is. Who won the fight? Testosterone doesn't make or break athletes. In this case, though, it seems that you tell she's me, intersex, she has, it, it, it transcends into her skeletal system and all that. It's a tough one. Track it's a tough. tough one, right? I mean, what, now you get into these really hard questions about how do you define what a physically a woman is. If she doesn't have ovaries or a womb and she, well, has, she has testicles vagina. and she has testicles but a vagina, I'm getting confused here. And now, and now, like a lot of times, they'll give you a, an intersex test. They give you, they have these tests, which is invasive, which makes a woman That's feel. Cool, and sometimes women find out that they are that way. And for the first time, that's it's tough, cool, man. man. It nobody's comfortable with it. That's a rough life for that young woman, man. That's a tough, tough go. And then people are telling her she can't run and shit. Yeah. Who are you? It's a tough one, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about no, it. No, she came out there with a beard and some cornrows and her shirt off with chains. I'm like, all right, well we can't. Yeah, all right, well now, <laughs> just joke. Go, go, it, go it, race with the if man. If you come out with a huge dick, <laughs> if you come out and your dick you strap it down, strapped to the side, and, and you're still calling yourself, and, and you're farting, and you're, you know, all right, we're gonna have to. We have to get you over. But these the are the questions. That, oh, gender. Gender is how you identify with yourself. Gender also has to do with your physicality and your genetics. It is does. complicated. It I is. feel sorry for. Her. But I'll tell. But my rant on cyborg. You guys got to quit disciplining her because of the way she looks. Her yeah. skills back it up. Yeah. 
Quit, quit. She's a great fighter. Quit making exceptions and quit being biased. She's an amazing fighter, but just happens to be the best female fighter in the world. Yeah, she doesn't look like Penelope Cruz, but if that's what you're looking for, then then fuck it, figure something out, man. You yeah. can't you can't discipline her based Cree, on her give looks. her her own division. Give her the forty five pound division. Also market her. Market, market her. her. Put her on the she's cover. She's the baddest woman Put, on the planet. Yes, and she's but she's knocking everyone out. Put her on the cover of the Reebok stuff. Yep. Put her, put her on these commercials. What are you doing? You're right. What are you, the hell are you doing? And, oh, by the way, there are a lot of guys that find her attractive. She was married. Well, I mean, no, there's a ton of guys that yeah. do. Just because she's not your cup of tea. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. You guys, Mar- and we could go all day on this. Fucking hook her up. What else you got, Ev? All right, last one we got a little uh, Real little quick, that lady update. gets balls. All right, huh? carry on. Nothing. Carry on. <laughs> so real quick, that lady got a set of balls on her. <laughs> Not cyborg. Weird, I'm, I'm talking it? about this Olympic it's runner. Weird, I've never heard it, of it. I know. I've never heard of it. I read about it and I was like, gee whiz, that's crazy. Now, let me, let's, let's say you meet, let's say you're seeing, gee whiz, you got balls. If you got balls hey, and you're a girl, I go, I go, do you want to get a gee whiz out of me? Show me your show me your inner balls. That'll get a gee whiz out of me. Gee whiz. Gee whiz, you got a set of balls on you. Hey. So let me, you're, let's say you're single, Brian, right now. You meet a, a lady in a, in a bar, and you're yeah. like, God, she's a little thick, but she's, yeah. gee, I'm a looking, I'm a liking. Yeah, because I am attracted to muscular, uh, women? athletic women. Interesting. Yes, I am. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. But uh, let's say you meet her, and she's like, you get home, you're having a couple of drinks, everything's going smooth for the kid. You're single, no kids, yeah. nothing. This is We yeah. took a hot tub time machine. Sure. And uh, she's like, before you go down there, I think it's that balls. I just want yeah, you're gonna go down there. Yeah, I do have balls. Right. All right. Does it stop you at all? Well, here's no. The, everything else is beautiful. Everything else is gorgeous. I go and I'm, so, so you a be nice the girl. crisp sack you, down you below. You be the girl. You be the girl. A nice Hold set on. of nice crisp. Uh, nice crisp. So you be the girl. Hey, a nice set of one, two fucking prime cherries okay, hanging out the front now now first of all a nice so bat wing okay. with two tumors in it. Okay, so. So I'm, I'm kissing you. Out. I'm kissing you. Yeah, hold, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get down. Let me get. Uh, let me get my tongue down there. Yeah, right. Hold on. No, I'm, I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for your bearded clam. Let me get there. Why are you laughing? Because that's the beard, bearded clam is the grossest thing I've ever heard I, in my life. I, already, you I'm leave, I, already, I'm leaving. Already, all three of us had the same. Already, I'm leaving. Already, I'm leaving. Let me get my, let me get my, my mouth around the meat curtains. Let me get the meat, the meat, the meat curtains. Then I'd say this. I'd say, well, you look old as fuck. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna turn around. Let me you, get my you're gonna lick this asshole. Let me, let me get my catcher's mitt down there. My catcher's mitt for a face down there. Catcher's mitt. I'm gonna get my tongue in there. Oh, and before you do, I, I gotta tell you something, Brian. What? What, sweetie? I got a set of balls. You what? I got some balls. Got some balls. Yeah. I got one question for you. What? You want them cradled? <laughs> <laughs> I got one question for you. What's that? You mind if I suck on them balls? Hey, listen, you you want, mind if I gargle them balls? I got a question for you. You like teabagging the guy? Because <laughs> I'm there for you. Hey, you ever heard of a Trojan helmet? You You mind doing the turkey gobbler on me? What's that? So we put your balls across my nose, and I I pretend I'm a turkey. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. Well, I, how did I, I get? Think, how I'm gonna how be have 15. we not been shut down? I'm going to be how 50 so years kick, old. How, how should we so not shame the door be like, no, I, stop it. I, you guys are fired. I'm Both embarrassed. Are fired. From, I have children, dude. They're going to listen to this shit. I am. My mom listens to this shit. I am not an artist. I'm literally a bad person. <laughs> I just said, I want you to turkey gobbler my <laughs> nose and set your balls on I'm a on reader. My I read. I read too, literature. Man. But I also. <laughs> I'm a reader, damn you! Hell, kind of defense. And by the way, for for, for we'll be an ox star but, this Thursday. Yeah. These women don't have balls on the outside of their body; they're way inside and they're hey, tiny. Hey, that's information I could have used yesterday. Yeah. So. So don't you don't balls. know; it's just inside. Yeah, yeah. They have they have. Balls. Okay, that Donald Trump will grab and be very surprised when they got big strongs on. I grab their pussies. All right. What else? I, you got I think we should just wrap up cards after that. Did you have any more? <laughs> there was there was one more one, but it just feels weird going to it. After I don't even that. feel like doing my dropping knowledge was, right it, now. It was like basically just like an update on the Kardashian thing. They found one of her pieces of jewelry, and they're gonna test it for DNA. So those boys could be fucked. Oh, damn, the boys were jacking. Hey, off for it. sure, don't steal something and then leave it in the middle of the street. That's not. Okay. They'll steal a thirty thousand dollar necklace and then just. Oops, drop it on the sidewalk. Testing it for DNA. They're really terrible criminals. Yeah. Really bad at their job. Inside jobs. job for sure. Yeah. Boy, that was we really went down a weird path there, didn't we? I have we? no energy in my body. Right I, I feel sick. Oh. I, I just remembered my mom listening to this show. 
Sorry, mom. Hey, uh, mom, real quick. Uh, come on, you know I'm just joking. Yeah, I've never been turkey gobbled before. That's very vulgar. I did a. Uh, I I'm did still a, your little Bren Bren. I did not on ad as Donald Trump talking about grabbing. I mean, I, I have that was problems. Donald Trump though. That was Donald Trump. We have problems together. Yeah, man. At least we're know. in it together. I'm out, I'm outraged. I'm personally outraged at this podcast, and I apologize to everybody for my behavior. Dude, how was your drop in knowledge? Finally, you got a good one. Not that girl with balls. Should have been right. <sighs> been amazing. You know what? We're gonna leave it at that. I'll, That's I'll your dropping knowledge. Yeah. That was my dropping Should knowledge. Just, oh yeah, that'll be a current event slash dropping knowledge combo. Should there we just go. go right into fan questions? Yeah, I appreciate hey, that. I feel sick. Thank you. <laughs> I'll save my other dropping knowledge for next sick. time. Fuck. Okay. Um, let's <sighs> go with okay. Make them for make them for both of us. You know how it goes. Yep. Have you ever done genetic testing on your family history? Like a. I think it's called uh, 23andMe is the website. If not, would he? Would you guys be willing to read the results on the podcast? I think we need to yes. finally bust the myth idea. that Brendan is a white guy. That's a great idea. A great Let's idea. go do I'm that, dude. Idea. How do, how do you, do you... Hashtag shop the Somalian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you do that? You just literally swab your cheek and send it into 23andMe. Okay, I want to look get into that. that? Yeah. yeah. I think we should all do it. Yeah, I want I one. Think, I think Keely's from... Not, where, where do you say you are? Well, this whole because my mom just did it recently, so this whole time I thought I was Norwegian and Mexican, but apparently I'm like Native American and British. That's hot. Oh, you're British too? What's up, mate? <laughs> my whole life's been a lie. What the fuck? Your whole wait, life. Wait till I get mine. I'm gonna get mine. It's gonna say one so more. You're, you're a direct result of the British call <laughs> coming to America and just like pillaging Fucking up Native the Americans. Woman here. Yeah. I mean, I have Mexican I too, but I don't do know. Do you have Mexican? I could have said Native American. That face yeah. and those lips. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. What the fuck? Are you an expert on Native American lips? <laughs> I, 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 I When I was in fifth grade, I did do my ending report on Geronimo. You did? <laughs> yeah, I did. Congrats. Thanks, man. Uh, I can't wait. We should definitely back. do that, though. <laughs> I can't wait till they find out you're 100% uh, Cherokee. You, you are. How about 100%? Geronimo? Yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see. Or I'm be. from like Egypt or something, huh? Yeah, you have. You definitely have some. I want to see that. Me, it's going to come back and it's just going to say peasant. I've, it's going to say <laughs> just a shit, shit mix of peasantry. Peasants. Like your whole ancestry was basically people that served other people. And Dude, I hope mine's something cool. It's cool. like, oh, you're actually part, you know, African-American, Indian, English. I wish and I had a little some. bit of. Chinese. If I could, so do then it, I can just, oh I can always talk about racist stuff. I, yeah. I cover see, all bases. I, I want black. Oh God, I want black and hilarious. Samoan in me. I wish I had some black and I wish I had Samoan in me. I, I can, hope I can I'm make Asian that happen. Just give, me, uh, just give me twenty five percent. What'd you say, Kay? I said I'm hope I'm Asian when I do mine. I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. Dude, I got pulled we gotta over do yesterday. That. We, we definitely got to do this. You got pulled over? I got pulled over. I just remembered. Speeding? No, last night. He Texting. Goes, he goes no. Cop pulls me over. Comes out. Two young guys. And he goes, uh, two young guys. And he goes, you you went through a red light and you were you were driving in two lanes. What are you doing? What's going on? How much you had to drink? I went, I'm really tired. I just had one glass of wine. He goes, look at me right now. And he gave me the eyeball test, which you're not supposed to because it can be evidence. But I was not drunk. And he goes, all right, I'll let you off on a warning. I feel I feel nice today. And that was it. Damn. And I go, you guys like stand up? Come to my stand up. Oh he goes, you God. do comedy? I go, anytime you want. He's like, that's all right. <laughs> See ya, like, dork. I appreciate the Later, break. nerd. What a cool cop. I was like, you guys are awesome. You gave me a break. I'll fucking... Unless you were really drunk, then you deserve to be in a slammer. No, I was... I, and don't call me But then I was nine. like, am I drunk? Because I had a couple glasses of wine, but I was just tired, and I was fine. I straight up I don't, don't drive. I, I don't straight drink up really don't drink anymore. I had, I had a, a beer on uh, I the campaign. I never drink. How about this? I can't handle it. I don't feel good the next day. I just I'm, have no desire. It doesn't taste good to me anymore. Mm-hmm. It's very strange. Even wine for me, I'm kind of like... Really? Wine for you? Wow. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I don't know what's wow, going on. Wow, wine hey, for you? Hey, guess who can't drink any dairy, even in his coffee now, because I'm getting older. You shit your pants. No, it's just my stomach gets blow the load. Yeah, you shit your pants. Blah, blah. I take 25 shits. No, my, my stomach just gets bloated. 25 shits. Yeah. What anyway, else you got, Ev? Getting old. Yeah. All right. You were just looking at me. <gasps> you were just looking at me like an old guy. You were going, how much longer do we I have? I don't think you look older. All right. Keep going. All right. Um, well, this one doesn't apply to you, Brian. I don't think, at least. Uh, Brendan, is there one tattoo you have that you regret or wish you could do over? All of them. <laughs> Football king. No, all of like all of them. Uh, I think as I'm getting older, like don't I love tattoos. I love the art. I love the way it looks. But what this, uh, I don't regret them. I don't, I don't regret anything in life. The only thing is, is like, 
you know, now you know, I just got this new show that I've been auditioning for for months. And by the way, I, I always have to cover my tattoos up. You know, I'm like I'm self conscious of them now. Like on stage, when I pick my outfits, I think about like, do I should I cover my tattoos? I asked this lady who's been in show business forever. All you guys know who she is. I go, hey, like when I go, should I cover my tattoos? And she goes, I don't think it's gonna help you. She goes, I, I think you cover them until you get the gig, and then you're like, yo, boom. Mm-hmm. She goes, but at first, no one's gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna give that guy a job because it's tattoos. She goes, if it's an older guy, he might judge you based on tattoos. You might as well cover him. I've had comics tell me to cover them because they're distracting, but I don't know. So that's uh, the only reason. But like, yeah. like you said, my uncle, and my grandpa had tattoos. That's why I love them. I, I grew up around them, so yeah, I don't, don't regret really any of them. Plus, you were a fighter. You got closed up ears. You're giant. That doesn't help in my world right now. I, I, Nothing's I funny about. I think that. it's alluring though, because you can also handle. You can also, you know, be funny and all that. So, I like. I think that the dichotomy works. Well, I was I was looking at Travis Barker was playing the drums, really Covered. just drinking them in, and then his boy. I don't know who he was. This dude is a big, about, about my size. Why, if, if he's not part of the Indian Nation, I don't know who is. Pure white. Tattoos from here all the way down. Every part of his body was tattooed. Jeez. And it, I mean, he looked gangster. I was like, God damn, that is cool. So he was. He was oh, it was even on the side of his face. Damn. Down to hit the neck. He looked like a real badass. And had just a smoke show without testicles right next to him. Really? Yeah, just a hottie without a pair of balls. Wow. Yeah. Some girls like that bad boy paint, that warrior painter, that, that the guy who's just painted up, muscular. I think it'd be fun. Full of paint. I think it'd be fun. He just looks like a. He looks like a. a warrior. There's like no go, but like no going so, back. So we have a, a pol- we have a Polaroid that we use to take pictures of Tiger. Now we post like that. We write the date and post pictures, and I have all these cute pictures of them. And I feel like my tattoos like distract it, like it takes away from it. No. Cause like I'll hold them, then you just see this no, fucking gnarly cute. ass. You know, I got angels and fucking. Yeah, but it, it works on you. I guess, You're man. Big, big Some days I wish I could just bloop, you know, like Photoshop. I love tattoos, though. I'd have way I more. I didn't if I have could. the eye for it. I just don't know what I would do. It's not me. I'm yeah, not hey, look at me. At look at me. Huh? Not for you. No. Mm-mm. Well, let me get a little sum. Well, if we had ten million, you have to get a tattoo. What do I We're get? getting close too. We're about halfway there, son. Just had our biggest month ever. Oh Christ! I gotta get a fucking tattoo. <sighs> hey, get a big old tiger. Yeah. On your back, crying <sighs> with balls, big balls. <sighs> what else you got, Ev? All right, I still love tattoos. If this is gonna go down weird, this is definitely gonna get weird. It's a weird if you day. could have any exotic pet, what would it be? Uh, I've actually thought about this before. Right? I like this question. It's tough. Uh, I mean, I know what I would I would get. What? I would get a uh, probably a blue and gold macaw, and one of those giant parrots. <laughs> They're so smart. Holy. F- Fuck. No, I'd get a dolphin, but I don't want to keep them captive. No, you're dead serious, but that's too detailed. That McCall, yeah. I'll get you one but right I now. One. I'll one. get you one. That's not very exotic, sir. Yeah. I mean, an exotic animal. Chimpanzee, maybe? A chimpanzee? Well, no, a bonobo. That's not that exotic. Off, I, want a, I want a bonobo. A, a female bonobo. I mean, I'd love... I mean, obviously, no one's been able to tame it. I'd love a great white. Yeah, but don't you want something you can pet and play with? No, you know what kind of panty dropper a great white would be? Well, you walk in the house like what the fuck. Oh, that that old thing. Oh, that's uh, you, that's you, Eddie. You need a you need an aquarium the size of a lake, so you never really see it. He might come around here. No, mine. He's almost like a little calf, like veal. Like he's stuck, uh, so he's always there. Uh, he'd die. <laughs> hey, this he'd is die. my dream. He'd die right. My there. dream. You can't keep a great white alive for some reason. I know. You can't contain them because they no. just die. They just then you'd die. Be out open. So, all right, I can't have a great white. I'd love one of those big stingrays. Man, I, you're not allowed to have any fucking water animals. It's, tell them I no love water, water animals. animals. Tell them oh, no water oh, okay, animals. Okay, okay. I'm an eagle. I'll take a bald eagle for 3000 Now, that's pretty good. Or a vulture? Or a golden no, no, eagle. No, no, no. Get, get a golden eagle. About no, no, about no, no, no. I high. want three vultures. They suck as birds, bro. No, they're all bald and shit. They suck. You got to give them dr- d- rotten meat. Fuck the Ooh, a vulture. That that, they would be stinky. Yes. Get an eagle that goes off Ooh. and catches its own I'd, food. I'll take a Komodo dragon. They are the worst. They do have poisonous Their mouths. mouths are all full of bacteria. I, I, I'm done. Okay, okay. I'll take one of those viper snakes that hang on the tree. They kill people and they bite you in the face. It's called the kiss of death. Beso de muerte. Beso de muerte. They'll kiss you in the face. And kill you? Eyelash vipers. Yeah, I've, saw, I've seen them in I've seen them in the trees in Costa Rica. Okay, I'll take one of those poisonous I, tree frogs. When I went to Costa Rica, 
They have those there. The poisonous vipers? Yeah. In Costa Rica. I'd love one of those little colorful tree frogs. They're oh, dangerous, but they're yeah. cute as Put fuck. Put them your, under your tongue. Let that poison no, seep in your body. I saw a recent the picture of baby otters. God damn, they're cute. They're, I've seen those in Alaska. I'll take an otter. I cool. saw I saw the cutest otter in Alaska, and it was on its it has cl- cracking a clam on its tummy, and it was right there. There's all fat They're and so plump, cute. and I shot him right in his face and left him there to die. What? And it just drove no, off. No, you did it. Yeah, I just went boom, and I shot him. No, I was you like, did it. I was like, you fucking otter, and I drove away. They're like, don't you want to eat it or take the fur? I go, nah, I'm gonna leave it there, and it just died. No, he's joking, everybody. Of don't send I'm him jo- hate. Of course, man. I'm joking. Um, of course, I would never do that. Yeah, he can't be killed. Oh, some guy, when I was talking about how I'm not that attached to my dog and it died, some guy shamed me. He goes, I got a a tweet or something. He goes, I thought it was in poor taste that you said that, you know, you you didn't care that your dog died. And I felt, I was like, he's kind of right. Like, I love my dog. You know how we are with that stuff. Anyone who takes anything we say that seriously. But it was all good. He hasn't been listening to the show that long. The way he said it was like really sincere. Because he's probably, his only friends are dogs. Like, he's around seven dogs. he was like a dude. It's like the cat lady. No, no, he was like a man. How dare you? I think he was like a fireman. I think he was a fireman. Like, he saves lives. He's a good guy. He loves dogs. He's a good guy. He's balls deep in Dalmatians. I thought it was in poor taste. I was like, I got scolded. I think you're right, sir. Ah, no, don't let it get to you, B. Um, dude, I, t- I went to the Grove this weekend. They had a little uh, like petting zoo, and there's two 17 week old piggies. Aww. Oof. He he was Jeez. like he was like, hey man, you need to less aggressive on their nose because I was just uh 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 uh. <laughs> they would eat corn. Be less aggressive on their nose, please. I was on it for about five minutes. Even my girls like, hey, let's let's get out of them. Yeah, just a goddamn second. <laughs> and I they they had corn, and I would hold the corn and then force them to chew on it. And while they chew on it, I just went uh uh on their noses, <laughs> both of them uh uh. And there's like little kids waiting to get their turns. Like, hey, show some manners, huh? Playing here, <sighs> pinching their noses. My my wife told me that my son and my father in law were walking down Abbot Kinney. And there's a leather shop there. Yeah. And apparently my son went, and my and my father went, and they smelled the air, and they went, and they followed their nose. And my son went into the leather shop, and he was in the belt, and he was like, mm. and he was smelling the belts. Yeah, he loved it. He goes, I feel like I could eat this these belts. They they smell so good, I want to eat them. And then they look over at his my father in law, and he's going. He's smelling. He's like, hey, man. well, obviously you get your your love for leather. You guys going to chew on some fucking leather over here? It was a weird situation. They had to pull them both out of the leather shop. I was like, this is, I got a weird family. Couple one-two leather lovers. Couple one-two leather fetish. Couple weird stories. Both of them got a couple. Got, both of them got a fetish for leather. Yeah. Leather fetish. I know how to kidnap a kid now. Huh? I know how to kidnap a kid now. Get some high quality leather in a oh, van? Just a gimp suit. That's got weird. What else you got, Ev? Two more questions. Get a the fuck out of here. Yeah, because it's leather. I know, man. All right. Gimp suits are usually pleather. Hey, you guys. Know, not the one I buy. But one time, my, my gimp wears a pleather leather suit. I don't spend money on leather. That little fucking gimp will wear pleather and like it. And get back in your fucking box, and I'm going to stick a stick. Yeah, I, You're lucky I got holes in that box, and I'm going to poke you with a stick. Glory so holes? get back in my... Get back in the box. <laughs> padlock that box and keep your pleather... Suit and mask on, you gimp. And then you pull the mask off and you realize it's Evan. (laughs) (laughs) He's all. And he and I I have had a passionate gimp slash master relationship since the beginning of this podcast. (laughs) That's how you got the gig. And then you go, wait a minute, turn over. And he's got a little like Velcro pad where his butt is. It's just all red. And I've been going out of town on that rumpy pumpy. I mean, going ta 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 rumpy ta pumpy. on that rumpy pumpy, and you realize, yeah. wait a minute, I gotta pull this butt cork out, butt cork. and it's a big There's butt anal cork. Bees. Oh. and then you're like, God, hey, you're not done. What? Got anal bees? Chocolate covered. Put those in the bowl, please. Put those in the disinfectant bowl, please. Thanks. And now you're gonna give him a hard fisting. Yep. Oh you're getting fisting because you fucking didn't stay in your box. You're getting fisting. You're getting fisting. Uh, I'm going to fist you. No, why you got and then, McDonald's? And then, and then I'll tell you something. I really mean this. This might be the last show I really mean this. Do. This might be I'm the gonna last show. I'm going to grab your man pussy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do you what lost. I want because I'm, I'm a star. I'm out. Because I'm a star. I do what I want. I do what I want. I do what I want. Hey! If I want hey! a gimp, I want a gimp, I'll have a gimp. And you should be ashamed of yourself for not fucking my gimp. <laughs> I get back in the fucking box. 
Ev, last question, then we're getting the hell out of here. And I am outraged. Right. Get fired. I'm outraged. Hey, guys, I'm a new wrestling coach at my high school here in California at Glendora <laughs> Wrestle. <laughs> well, I'm already kind of creeped out for yep. some reason. Brian, Brian, what is the most important lesson wrestling taught you? And Brendan, how did you keep motivated on the hardest days of practice? Uh, I don't know how we're going to answer this serious. After uh, we just pretended we were fisting Evan as a gimp. And now you got to wrestle. And now this poor Stop, guy, you're coaching, this you're coaching poor guy kids. just got his first coaching gig. Coaching kids He's asking wrestling. us for advice. Have a chaperone in the room when you're going over moves. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Uh, no high cross takedowns, please. What was the question? The Listen, wrestling, wrestling changed who I was fundamentally. I loved it. It's a great sport. What was the question? What was the most important lesson wrestling taught you, Brian and Brendan? How did I you learned how tough I wasn't, days? and I learned how tough I was. I learned. Well, it gave me great respect for just the sport and getting better at something. And also, fucking guys. Oh, God damn it. That was Donald, dude. That was Donald. I'm sorry. I can't you answer this. I'll, re- I'll, I'll come back to this question, question tomorrow. Uh, Wrestling is for pussies. All right. You know what? We got to get out of here. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this, come see us live Thursday. I promise. Live. That's crazy. Live in Oxnard, California. And that it's not that there. far. We're going to sell this bitch out. Oxnard, California. Levity Live. Get tickets right now. This bitch will sell out Thursday night. This Thursday night. TFATK.com. Get your tickets. And then on the 26th of this month, we're in Brea, and that thing's almost sold out. We're in Brea, California, kind of Orange County. And then uh, first week of November, November 3rd, we're in New York, Gramsci Theater. Come on up to New York. Both those are one show only. And special shout-out to our boy, Roger, Roger for sending us the Roger Blair, who won the fan contest, but also sent us these dope-ass mugs. I'm just going to put coffee in them, Roger. I don't know he sent these. I'm going to put whiskey or something in them and ice. Just Mine's going to get stained with coffee. But we got a big brown special K, Evan the Cub uh, mug, and the the kid. So he, he included everyone. Shout out to Roger Blair. TVACK.com. This Thursday, the live shows are back on track, and they're better than ever. Back on track. Better than ever. I want to apologize to my mother for this podcast. This is the Violent <laughs> Kid. We're out. Uh.